If Lands Could Kill, featuring Knife City, Equipness, Bright, and Hot Sauce. It's actually how me and my girlfriend started talking was over Brazilian waxing. Uh-huh. My balls. But that's for another time, another place. Yeah, wow. Yeah. No, Welcome to a- If Lands <laughs> Could Kill. My name is Knife City. I'm Reich. Hot sauce and uh, so and crow. Oh, who oh, the fuck who's this guy? Oh who man, is this guy? so and crow. He just thinks he can get on in the intro too. That's pretty introducing cool. Introducing for your listening pleasure, we have our newbie friend, our guest, our uh, newest paper crack addict, uh, <coughs> so and crow. So he's going to be joining us today. He's going to be our official noob. Oh, yeah. Pleasure to yeah. have him on board. Yeah. It's nice to have an intern. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> now, give me some commons, boy. No. Uh. <laughs> we are professionals. Yeah, we are so professional. I'm answering my phone in the middle of the podcast. 30 cause... seconds in the podcast. We uh, need to take a break. Yeah. So, yeah, we're in the middle of giving the new guy shit. So, what have you guys been up to? By the way, we're recording actually outside. It is uh, hot. On, on the veranda. It was like 100 degrees inside. <laughs> yes. And That's so, um, yeah, the skyline is beautiful from this spot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the hillbilly veranda. Yeah. 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 And so the uh, <laughs> the Germans are invading, yeah, and good. we're just going to have to deal with that, okay? So uh, what, what, have, uh, what the fuck have you been up to, you suntanned motherfucker? <laughs> you <laughs> raccoon-looking yeah, bastard. I know, I know. <laughs> Work is killing me, dude. It's hot as balls out there. I don't know what the hell I've been doing. I don't know. What have you been doing? Dude, I don't even know. I mean, really though, I think it's all about it's, it's problem because it's it's all about destiny, right? Isn't that what life is right now? It's like magic, destiny. There's magic. There's I guess destiny. some some girlfriend time, some maybe some Very time little. spent. Very little. But love you. <clears throat> so I don't know. Destiny. I'm at. <laughs> Everyone's playing. Brent is hardly playing. I'm hard. I haven't turned my Xbox on since I bought it. Like a couple oh, days after that. Geez. God, I've been crazy. So you're like still like level two. I'm level eight. Oh come on. Nine. No, maybe. Eight. Are you lying to us? No, I'm like eight. <laughs> so I'm at level twenty three. What's the cap? Like twenty six. I have actually no 30? idea. I saw twenty nine running around. I have no idea. So like, when you hit level twenty, I didn't really realize this until probably later in the night of me hitting level twenty. That you can't get left past level twenty until you pick up uh, armor that has light motes in it. Motes of light. Not motes of light. It doesn't not motes. No, and it's, it's not light. Motes. motes is for it's like a currency for one of the for the speaker. Mmm. So obviously like, it's <laughs> yeah. Even speaker. the level eight you knows over here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> level eight. Oh. <laughs> all right, continue. So <laughs> all right, all right, continue. Continue. Um, <laughs> I got no more quarters. Okay. Uh, yeah, so you have to have, like, attributes. There's, like, plus 75 discipline and plus 25 strength. And then and then plus 25 plane. And then, uh, and then uh, you have to have uh, light. So it'll be, like, plus 7 light. The numbers are super low. But level 21, I think you needed, like, 20 light. And then level 22, you needed, like, 35 light. So on and so forth. So, so all you do is just, like, play, like, the Crucible, which is the multiplayer, over and over again. And then... The campaign is like pretty it's much pretty done. Fun multiplayer though. No, the multiplayer I is. I enjoy it. It's really, really good. Matchmaking is a little slow. I think it'll get better though. But. <clears throat> you know, actually, when I'm in a party, so I play with uh, my roommate and my buddy Joe, and so all three of us we work the same. Me and Joe work the same hours, so from like 5 p.m. on, it's pretty reliable for him to be on, and then Raheem is sitting right there, like yeah. you know, doing whatever. Just so he hops on, and so out. when you actually are in a party, it, it everything happens pretty quick. And pretty smooth. And then they have three versus three matches, so it's three people to a team, and you fucking own. Because you're all talking to each other. You all stay in the same group, you let them come to you, and you just pick them off one by one, and you own bitches. It feels really good. Going from, like, Gears of War, which you could not do well, and you just feel like the worst player ever, because you're going to go, like, O and... You're going to go, like, O and 13. <clears throat> These fucking planes, I tell you. God, what is it today? Call of Duty, I'll be, like, super happy if I have higher than a one... Um, kill to death ratio, you know, like that, like one to one. But this one, I mean, shit, I'm getting up to like 1.8, you know, on yeah. kill to death. I'm like, is this, is it me? Is it the game? Like, if people suck, I don't know what the hell it is, but it it's fucking awesome. Feels though. good though, right? So, 
Anyways, I've just been doing that. I mean, really, Destiny's been taking over. I got uh, I got a new phone ringtone. I still have a stock ringtone. Dude, those are all the rage. Oh, you know what? The Samsung stock ringtone is the best. The problem for me is you're still on fucking last gen, and knife over here is never barely on for the Xbox One. Right. So I'm I'm by myself well, playing Destiny. The guys no, I'm it's playing not with that is a lot of fun, but the guys I'm playing with are all in 360. I'd love to have a one or a PS4 or whatever, but yeah, it's a little. Uh, th- there's not new games yet. Like the new it's, games it's are rough. I, I understand not buying it, but <clears throat> man, it's it's nice having it though. I know. I, I enjoy know. it. I want it just for the media stuff too. Yeah. But um, yeah, I was gonna say I also got Forza Horizon Two. Which is just exactly the same as Forza Horizon 1. So I don't know if anyone played Forza Horizon out there, but it's uh, just a racing game from turn 10. It's it's like kind of a simulator, but then it's also like fun. I don't know. It's Every other simulator is like super boring. The person sitting next to you is like, I'm leaving the room. This is so fucking boring. This one actually has like good music and it's entertainment a little bit to it, but... Other than that, it's exactly the same. There's really nothing to talk about. I mean, yeah. it's just like a little bit prettier, I guess. Yeah, a little and different like... Some yeah. different cars. Yeah, that's it. Now you can go like a different off, track or two. You can go off road. There's no tracks. It's just like city streets. Oh, really? It's like Test Drive Unlimited. If oh, anyone played okay. that. But it's like the <laughs> Test Drive Unlimited you always wanted it to be. Hmm. So, but I mean, besides that, I'm kind of drawing a blank. I mean, I'm looking at a little bit of deck building, and we did the booster box openings, which is fucking awesome. Definitely yeah. exciting. So, anyone listening, check that out. Uh, YouTube.com. <laughs> if Lance could kill, and we got three videos up there for. Myself, Knife, and Crow over here. Reich was absent for that because I didn't have a box. I was, was I was there. there. I was there. there. Just had to watch and but I didn't have a but box. But even though he was there, he was still there in spirit. It's really weird because yeah, that's what happens when you have your own box and you show up to a booster <laughs> box opening party. Yeah. Lane. I know. So, I don't know. Pass it on to Reich. What's up? Yeah, I've been... Uh, I actually <laughs> just found out the day of this recording that I'm actually uh, offered a new uh, job position. So, I'll be actually... In the next couple of weeks, I'll be moving into a, a new job. It should be really nice. Dude, that's really sweet. Me and uh, Crow over here, we're actually going to lose our jobs probably. So. <laughs> yeah. True well, story. Hey, one door shuts, another door opens, right? Is that, is that how that goes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah now so. you're going to be with the one with the boxes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's really exciting, so I'm excited about that. And then i just been uh, kind of been hanging out. I'm packing up. I got to, as soon as this podcast is over, I'm going to have to run home and pack my shit because I'm going to Reno. What? <laughs> going to Reno, get some STDs. Yeah. They're called you STIs just now. Slim gym oh, at the is, same time. STDs are STIs now. Oh, uh, is that what they call it now? Mm-hmm, cause like, yeah. Is it like the, is the, the new hipster, like herpes? <laughs> no. Because a, a disease is something, my, what I'm understanding is like a disease, you're trying to classify as something like you could be like born with or whatever, and an infection is like something you like get. Oh. Yeah, you know I mean, so they're and it also well, has four wheel drive. The more you know, <laughs> it's true. It's true. Knowing yeah, is half the battle. Cool. But now I'm excited to go. Uh, doing, we're going to Lake Tahoe, and I'm probably going to be like, we're in a cabin, and we're probably going to be playing Magic because that's what we do. It is funny that all those guys, they're like these guys are like kind of like jocks. They're not like large and intimidating, but they're kind of like jocks sometimes. Yeah, yeah. You know, they're like dirt biking and fucking playing flag football for fun and all this stuff until. <laughs> Five months ago, or whatever, when they discovered magic and they were introduced to magic. The STI of magic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So, you never play around SDSU. <laughs> <I> know, <right? laughs> oh, what is that? Oh, that sucks. Can I play? You always got to sleeve up. <laughs> but yeah, I'll be doing that and uh, just looking forward to that. And I haven't actually been too much on the magic scene. I kind of glanced over the, the last uh, uh, deck list for the new uh, cons. Uh, standard rotation, but I haven't seen <laughs> too much in the way of red green. I saw like one deck, but I gotta like I gotta dismantle my deck, get all the fucking return to Ravnica like out, and get some new blood in. You haven't seen you probably, probably haven't seen it yet though, but like they're taking out. That's the, we're not yeah, even we're, we're talking about. Hey, yeah, just yeah. saying, they're taking out some of your favorite stuff to go throw in the new stuff. That's all I'm saying. No, I know, I know. It's just, so. it's just like replacing like <laughs> good stuff with better. Like just as good. It's one of the lists that's changed like the least. Yeah, yeah. I have I I bought De- Destiny. I haven't played with these guys. Like I'm le- level eight in Destiny, and I just haven't played. I've been too busy on the fucking. Well, let me say this: once you're level, well, if you're in the multiplayer uh, matchmaking shit, it doesn't matter what level you are. It yeah. doesn't level doesn't matter. But even still, if you're level twenty, it doesn't matter if you're like I'm a twenty eight or whatever. We can still play the same stuff. Yeah, we can still like, go level twenty is where the game, the extra game begins. Like one game is from zero to twenty, and then the second game begins up twenty after. So. 
yeah, so I think I'm going to have to get back on that and start grinding that down, just finish the campaign on it. But yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's just I've been occupied with when, other when shit. When did you beat the campaign? Did you beat the campaign? I have not beat the campaign. And I'm you're already rolling. 20, 20? I'm, tw- I'm like a cunt hair away from 21. Just a cunt hair. A yeah. bloody cunt hair. I just finished the story, um, and I just hit level 20. And I have no idea why we're not ever on at the same time. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I just finished it. It, You know what? It's a great game, and it's... it's uh, Here it comes, I, though. Here I love it comes. It. It's just fucking repetitive. <laughs> like, all... A lot of games are repetitive. But this just seems like... You know how, like, in Grand Theft Auto, it's like, there's a different story, you know? But it's, like, the same a missions. a fucking game, dude. Yeah, okay. Well, whatever. What, <laughs> in, insert, insert game here, whatever title. Pitfall. Pitfall, <laughs> yeah. dude. Alligators and snakes. Yeah, in one level, there's alligators you have to jump over. In the next level, those, there's, those, those ropes you know, scorpions. Those are really rigid. Yeah. <laughs> and then those endless pits that just come out of nowhere. Yeah. They have to empty them from time to time. Oh, empty the pits. Anyways, <laughs> so... Um, no magic talk. <laughs> oh, that was a good joke. Yeah, uh, hey, guys. <laughs> so, uh, I find it a little repetitive, but like... Uh, Hot Sauce was saying, the game gets different, you know, from 20 on. And I really can't wait for the expansion packs to come out, because I feel it's, like it's going to bring a lot. But uh, in, in no way am I like... You know, over the game, I'm still like you know playing it whenever I'm not playing Magic. So. Well, here's every player on on Destiny. Okay, they're like, this game is it's a little repetitive, and like yeah, it's got some good things, but I feel like I have complaints about it. But I have to play it every day. Yeah, I can't <laughs> I have to keep playing it. Like, I don't understand. Man, what's I don't, going I don't really right like now, this part about amazing. this game. <laughs> but that is, I, but I want to play six more hours tonight, even though like I'm kind of pissed off. But it's one thing. Six more hours. That sounds, sounds like some other digital game that we play. It is like that. Kind of something, something, something online. Moto is that was? I don't know. M O D O. I don't. I don't. I forget. Anyways, other than that, I haven't been doing too much. Um, yeah, my band finally started practicing again, so I'm like, <laughs> stoked about that. We haven't played a show in like a year and a half, so. Ever since you started playing Magic, you have. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, dude, dropped my, off when you started playing my, Magic. My, every day. my bass player keeps telling people because they keep asking about the band, and he's like, "Oh no, Magic the Gathering broke up the band." <laughs> So look it up, uh, facebook.com backslash three dicks and an asshole. Yeah, that's actually the... That was, that was our old name. Wow, uh, that's eight, awesome. <laughs> 86 Fix. We're a shitty punk band, so... Um, but uh, what what have you been up to, Mr. Crow? Well, better than that. Yeah, let's... Introduction time, baby. Oh, yeah, let's, yeah. Let's talk a little bit. Better than that. Bit. Roll out the red carpet. The last two weeks. Nobody so cares. Nobody has any reference for two weeks. you got to tell us. Yeah. Okay, you were born on what? And you the hospital, and then your mom... <laughs> Memorial. Okay. Social security, Social security number, number, bank account numbers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so who the fuck are you, and how did you end up at this table? Oh, man. I was just working at an you know, electrician, working one day, and... Suddenly, some goofy little fucker starts working with me in the trench. I'm like, who's this fucking asshole? And I'm like, oh, oh, we just came from an office job. I go, like, oh, cush office job out here in the field all of a sudden. What the fuck's going on? Dude, people this gave me a lot shit? of shit. I'm like, <laughs> oh, this oh, fucking they guy's totally... all kinds of rusty. I'm like, you're a journeyman? What the fuck? Dude, it's all, it's all better than that because I was working in the same uh, yard as they are. And they're a different company, but we share the same yard. So they'd see me come in in my car with my Starbucks and shit and my laptop. <laughs> and they're all, and they're all, they started earlier. They're already like fucking knee deep into like busting their ass. They've got vest, hard hat, safety glasses, gloves, you know, people hounding on them to get go faster. And I'm just like, what's up guys? You're just like fanning oh, yourself in the shade. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I had like this ice cold uh, trailer to go into. And I'm like, oh man, I forgot my jack in the box. I'll be back. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, literally, before I even knew him, met him at all, I'm like, who the fuck is this asshole? Just <laughs> strolling across the yard, hanging out in the AC. Yeah, yeah it was great. It was Next, great. you know, it's working in a trench with me. My, <laughs> how the, how the, I'm like a mighty fall. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, and then from there, you know, I started <clears> talking <throat> with him, and I was about his stepdad being in the punk and all this jazz like I am, and comes back a week later brings me a fucking vinyl from his stepdad. I'm like, oh, okay, this guy's pretty fucking cool. We're right. each other at the same gas station in the morning. Is, 
What was it? A fear vinyl? <laughs> oh no! No no no! You can't give that away. Yeah yeah no. I've got my own. Okay, dude. How much do you want to suck my dick to give me that? Hey, there's a line, okay? And I'm ahead of it. I'm right on it. I'm squatting the line, sitting on that line right now. It's just some shitty band called SSD Control. I mean, it's fun. It's fast. Oh, fun. nice. You know, it's it's good. It's I'll enjoy it. It's like you know, nobody fucking besides any kind of punks know that. Shit. Yeah, exactly. But it's great. Like vinyl, best way to hear music. The only way to really hear and enjoy music. Every little fucking tick matters. But, yeah. Uh, you know, you know, you guys were talking. He's talking about me from a podcast like fourteen or something like that. Yeah, this like is the, the guy. This yeah, is the the big asshole. The big this, asshole. Like, yeah. yeah. Dickhead and like this big tough looking guy, and all of a sudden my Pokemon ringtone goes off. It's like, wait a minute, we can be friends. <laughs> I know Pokemon. That's how friendship starts. Full on yeah, stepbrother moment. <laughs> Who's come best friends? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we can get bunk beds and have more room for activities. Can go to my garage and fucking do uh, karate? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just don't touch my drum set, bro. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> oh. yeah, next thing you know, I mean, I played. Uh, 96, I played I played the Ice Age series there from Magic for a little bit. Not by any, knowing any idea how to actually play, but I played Pokemon cards and was in the shops and stuff and saw that and my buddies and tried it out. So I have a bunch of old cards from back then. And so I, know the, I knew the basics going into Magic and was like, fuck, oh, man, I love strategy games and all this kind of shit. So just falling hard into it real quick. Super addicted. <laughs> yeah. So how many days did it take... Of playing Magic for you to buy a booster box. Uh, about seven days from starting and about five days of playing. So we went nonstop every day. Like, hey, Jason, I'm coming over. Or, excuse me, hot sauce. I'm coming over today. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's, let's learn some more. I want to play. I want to play. And there you know. Next thing you know, fucking booster box. And now another cons box. <laughs> yeah. Plus some singles. Oh, yeah. Lots of singles. A couple of fat packs. A tool, bo- a tool kit one. And, Easily three hundred fifty dollars in in a month and a half. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> nice. But I gotta say, I'm not trying to be whacking your putt around here, but you are you you were really impressive right off the get go. I was like, I showed him we were you know showing him how to play, and right off the get go, I was I was showing him like advanced technique, like like when to play instance. You know what I mean? Like within like five days, he's already like got the game pretty much. You know I mean, he has questions, of course, like we all do, even a, you know year and a half later or whatever. But uh, he was doing just fine. And that's the only thing you really have to we have to work on is like he has to have like more knowledge of the cards, which just takes time. Nothing mm-hmm. answers you. Just more knowledge of the meta. Yeah, and then like understand yeah that kind of stuff, and then just, just remembering that, I'm playing a card and going oh yeah the guy has first strike and not forgetting that guy that asshole has first strike. Oh that I'm happens. That happens. Happens to everybody. Yeah. <laughs> and then like card card timing. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, looking yeah. at your your opponent's open mana and being like, "All right, can I play this? Should I Not play so this? Should I wait?" Not so much stack as much as realizing, "Oh, I should just hold this creature till after my combat phase because that's just <coughs> how you should go about it." Right. And I'm just like, "I got open mana. I don't want to end my turn without playing this card." And I put it down and go, "Oh well, maybe I should have waited a second because mm-hmm. that's just keeping the, the, keeping the bluff open, tapping that's the wrong the mana, mana so order of operation ah, next spell. Right. It, it's it's basic stuff. I mean, otherwise, I think he's doing fantastic. No, I'm surprised. Yeah, as soon as the first day I met you, it was like he was already in it to win it, man. He was good to go. knew all knew like all the basics. Was had a good handle on everything. It was I, ready to kick it. I know. I you guys were talking about this guy. I never met him, and then he came over, and I was. Sorely disappointed. He didn't, look, yeah. he didn't live up to the hype. I mean, it was. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. I thought we were cool. <laughs> yeah. And exactly. by the way, that's not what you said to me outside. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. What happens outside stays outside. Unless we're recording. So, what, what else? What, what else? A little more uh, background about you, not magic related. What do you say? Uh, married with a two and a half year old son. A little big bruiser. He's freaking awesome. I say hi to him. I'm coming home and, what's up, buddy? And he sprints from 20 feet away and just comes running full speed and headbutts me. <laughs> nice. So that's a lot of fun. <laughs> Taught him well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Probably the uh, biggest sports guy of the group here. Big Padres fan. And, you know, just San Diego. Yeah. So I still play soccer <clears throat> on Thursdays and. Loving magic and destiny and video games and I'm a full on full scale from everywhere from sports to complete nerd all the way through. That's why we get that's yeah, why we got that's... along. We talk about it because we're both like uh he meant he mentioned the term like social chameleons. Where a lot of people are into one thing and that's like that's just what they where they go to. So it kinda of dictates a little bit of their personality. You don't want to stereotype somebody, but just more than more often than not it falls into that. Where uh, a person that is a nerd grew up being a nerd, grew up, you know, I don't know whatever negative things that that could be. He didn't, you know, they they're not, they don't have this the stories of 
all the other crazy shit that they could have done when they were 21 or whatever mm-hmm. like that. Typically and, uh, inclusive. And then the mm-hmm. same way the other way around is that like when you talk to somebody about some sports stuff or whatever and that they're like a big fisherman or whatever, you can talk to them about the damn computer and they're like, I don't even I don't even own a computer. Yeah. I mean, What's a just, mouse? Yeah, yeah. so... They're like, yeah, I use, I use Netscape. You know, you're like, oh, okay, that's... Wow. <laughs> yeah. Good for you. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff like that, you know. Or, We're still on dial-up, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but me and this fool, along with the rest of us, yeah. uh, you know, we had we had all phases of our life. You know what I mean? Just just the, the partying and then the, the developing social skills and getting along, like being a fucking adult and all this other shit that people, a lot of people don't have. You know what I mean? So, Would you say cool. we're very well-rounded? Yeah, I think, remember... Across the board, I think. Yeah. On, a, on a personality level, remember, we're like a 9 out of 10. Oh, yeah, we're 9 out of 10. <laughs> but we're not know. much to look at, yeah, but yeah, we're 9 yeah. out of 10 on the I personality level. I think we're awful to look at. <laughs> we're, we're, between, uh, we're between the 6 and 7 range, Yeah, you know, depending on how we're dressed. All of us, I would <laughs> yeah. say. Yeah. Sorry, 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 bud. Sorry. Depending on how many burritos we're well, eating. Well, he's pretty cute. No, no, pretty cute. No, 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 uh, Reich's well, the most handsome, but... Uh, they do say I have a face for radio. A 7 and a 6, was it a face for radio and a yeah. voice for, for fucking internet? What was that? What was that line? A, a voice for print? Yeah, that's a, no, a voice for yeah, a voice yeah, for, a voice for blogs, for... right? Or something like that. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Anyways, yeah, but I do agree. We're all pretty well-rounded. Mm-hmm. Sports party nerd. Fucking like I'm going computer to a punk geek. psychobilly show after this podcast. Fuck so. yeah, I wish from I could. a magic podcast to a punk show. I fucking like, yeah, wish I could go, that dude. Like, that's fucking awesome. Like a good time. <laughs> you know you can go right. You just don't have your girlfriend. I was gonna say right? like you, no, I just your girl's in school. I mean, I don't want to be tired. I didn't want to on the bus, but they already did it. So yeah. it's like you're kind of being an old bastard here. Oh, totally, totally old bastard, <laughs> dude. If I don't get eight hours of sleep, I'm just like <clears throat> sluggish the whole day. It's horrible. How's that? How's that job working on anyways? It's pretty good. So Raheem, <clears throat> uh, our buddy, got a job with me, but he, I just found out today, he's working this new shift that they have from like six at night till midnight <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> I heard that, yeah. That poor bastard. <laughs> so he's only getting 30 hours a week, too, because five days of that. Something like that, but... Uh, better than what he was doing, though, which was nothing. <laughs> yeah. was better than nothing, right? Yeah. It's a, you know, 30... Uh, his workload increased by 30 hours a week. Yeah. <laughs> but I talked to my boss, and she was like, yeah, we're going to try and get him on, you know, a decent schedule, so... Yeah, that's but cool. it's that's kind of a weird schedule, though. though. Sounds, yeah. like, experimental. But, uh, yeah, so, I'm liking it. Moving on. Um, years. So, we were all able to go to the fucking cons pre-release over at uh, San Diego Games and Comics. Do we gotta talk about this? Yeah, we gotta talk about this. Oh, no. You don't have to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> you can just sit there and whimper. I'm gonna whimper. Right did, right did okay. No, I did awful. Why so don't we go around and uh, say what uh, clans we picked? Sauce? Uh, I picked Abzan. Why did you pick Abzan? Because <clears throat> Abzan is relatable to the strategies I've already been playing. The whole counters thing. I love white. I love green. I love black. Those are actually like, that's a pretty <coughs> sweet thing right there. That is so, too well thought of, it, of an answer. It is, right? <laughs> For, so. <laughs> I, I picked Teamer because they have fucking beers and they punch shit, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why else would you pick it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I, I played Abzan and my rare was. It's like a, it's a five seven for five mana, and whenever it attacks, target creature can't block this turn. That was fine for limited. It was fine, you know, yeah. totally fine. The seven booty is, you know, it's pretty unbeatable except for the that's destroy, a big booty. destroy creature stuff. So, so that was pretty sweet. And uh, when I opened my pack, I got when I opened my sealed pack. It's it, the you know pre-release is five sealed packs and then the one seated pack. And uh, there's like what is it? There's eight. There's eight different rares you could get in a seated pack for the, for the promo, so, for the yeah. promo, whatever. And it's a it's a it's a promo sort of like it's the same art, but it's foil with the text of with the, the, the stamp the the stamp on it. So that's pretty cool. So anyways, I I pulled a uh, Wingmate Rock. Wingmate Rock. I'll just tell you right now, like I could not have pulled a better card. Yeah. I think that even if I would have pulled a Sarkin, I think that that would have died a lot quicker than two, three, four flyers that gain you life. Yeah. Like it's. I pulled. I went uh, four and one, and the one I lost was to the owner of the game store. So there you go. He played Jeskai, uh, Jeskai Flyers and stuff like that. So <clears throat> four, four of the games, or whatever. I pulled the Wingmate, and every time I pulled it, I won. Because even if they have removal, they can only kill one, and then there's a three-four flyer that they can't deal with. Yeah. Because even things with flying, 
don't have uh, they have three toughness or lower right in limited that's just like what happens with flyers so I had four toughness three attack I could always attack in profitably and nobody had nobody was playing party tricks at all I got I had no party tricks from any of my players at all so so anyways yeah I, it was fine I, I pulled uh, <clears throat> the first sort of the that going four and one is like six packs but I ended up splitting it with the other guy I was playing so we both pulled four packs and then I pulled a uh, polluted delta out of that so that was pretty cool nice um, yeah no, it, was, it nice. was pretty enjoyable man there's a lot of really strong cards and I know we're gonna get to it I'll just get to it afterwards but outlast dude yeah, that's, last that's the bitch. shocker of the day, I think. Even if you guys didn't play it, you saw it, and it fucking did some <laughs> stuff, dude. It yeah. So what do you, what do you got? Uh, I went with Mardu. I really... I like the flavor of Sultai, but I just <clears throat> didn't think it was going to like get there and do that much. Um, so I picked Mardu, and my deck just... Okay, first of all, when I built the deck... I didn't have like enough. I didn't have enough. I felt like I didn't have very good top end. Like I would just, I would get him down to like five life and just, and then I would die. Um, so I splashed some blue in there for like two or three cards. Great idea, by the way. Yeah, yeah it was. Four it gets better. Than this is awesome. And then I just, oh my god! So what was my first match against you, Reich? Yeah, yeah. I both games just. Could not pull mana to save my fucking life. You gotta go back a step because you're leaving out a big detail. What's that? How many colors did you play? Four. Four. No, no, no. First match, wasn't it five? No, no, it no? was just four. Okay. It was just four. <laughs> yeah, luckily it was four. Because if we played five, it'd just been like, no, it was massacre. ridiculous. Um, ridiculous. So, right after that, I was, I, that like, <laughs> that like put me in a bad mood, guys. No, uh, I was, I was kind of pouty after that. Because <laughs> yeah, like, it was like, I had beat myself, you corner. know what I mean? Yeah, I, didn't, like, I didn't have to do anything in that game. It just kind of just You thought, thought about it too much. You know? yeah, yeah, I did. I did. You, you overthought it, and you're like, oh, no, I got, I got, I don't have enough of this one category that I need. Yeah, I put it in the blue at the, like the last minute and it just cuz I didn't have like a lot of the Mardu staples that would really make the deck effective. Like removal or <laughs> what, what were the Um I had like one dis or uh, one murderous cut and then one of the white instant destroy target attacking creature. <clears throat> Um, but that That's was it. One. But I just didn't have like the the a lot of the creatures that would really put the deck where it needs to be. Um <clears throat> So anyways, after that game, I changed up my deck just to three colors, just to Mardu. Took out some, you know, a couple, two drops that didn't fit, like the one that gives it plus two, plus zero and trample, or <coughs> pay a certain amount and gives it flying. Like those, I just took those fuckers right out. Mm -hmm. And uh, put the Valley Dashers in, or whatever, the Haste must attack valley, each turn. Valley Dashers? Valley Dasher? No, dashers, no Dashers. Um, <laughs> oh, get out of here. <laughs> just leave. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... That's the 2-2 two, two for 2 that has to attack, right? Yeah, has Haste, Haste has to attack. And I don't know why I didn't put that guy in. It that's, was just, no, that's good, right? Yeah, no, it was great. It's really I don't, I, at the last minute I took him out, I was just like overthinking it, making it worse for myself. Um, Brain getting in the way again. Yeah, so I lost against Reich, and I lost the next, the next match. And then I made some final tweaks after that match, and then I won the next three matches because I just I stopped overcomplicating it and just made a simple Mardu deck, and it just did what it was Mardu was supposed to do is just fucking attack in and fuck shit up. And I had some decent uh, morph cards, but uh, my promo was the Blood Soak Champion. Oh my god, I love that guy. You should because that thing's crazy. <clears throat> I already like the ah, uh, oh, what's the fucking zombie? Uh, you can play go him. On, go you, on. you can play him out of your graveyard if you have a zombie on the battlefield. Oh gosh, with the rain. You mean, you mean the one from uh, back in the day? Yeah, the oh. one from like uh, Innistrad or whatever yeah. it was. Oh, anyways, I, scav something. I love that guy, scavenger. and uh, this is pretty kind of like it. Um, same effect, pretty much. You just got to uh, pay a little bit more, and you have to raid. So, anyways, do has a regenerate on? Or? <laughs> no, you can play him from that graveyard. He comes it, it's back. A, it's a two one zombie that can't block. So, same thing as the Blood Soak Champion. And then when he dies, um, if you have a zombie on the battlefield, you just pay a swamp and you can bring him back on the battlefield. What the hell is the name of that old card? I'll think of it. It's like Grave Crawler. Grave yeah, Crawler. Thank you, Jan. I can see the picture. I can see the <laughs> card in my yeah. head. He's crawling out of a grave. And then there's the other guy who has landfall when he's in the. Uh, when he's in the graveyard. Yeah. So anyways, he's not a zombie. Very powerful cards, for sure. Yeah. So, um, 
Who's this, he, who's he, this fucking bitch? I know, right? Fucking neighbors. Uh, so it worked out pretty well. Um, <clears throat> Go stab him. And I, yeah, I ended up, uh, <laughs> so I played this little kid, and him and his buddy were there, and uh, they were like, what, 10 years fucking old or asshole. something? Like 12. Yeah. Four so. of them, right? There's like four little kids. <laughs> yeah. But, All eating their pizza. Yeah. Their cookies. I know. I was like, yeah. I'm hungry Cookie now. pizza. <laughs> yeah. So, um, played against him, and uh, he was like, oh, man, like, you should totally, like, uh, let me win, because we were, like, in the spotlight match. What that means is, like, they choose a couple random matches, and then the winner gets to go up and spin this wheel, and then... You know, you can win shit. Yeah, the game store does Anywhere that from a hug to, uh, what is it? Drawing a, for a booster box. Drawing right? for a booster box is what I got. I got, a, I got an intro pack and $10 store credit. Yeah. I, I got to spend or or there was like chips and soda or something. Yeah, like. some fun stuff. <laughs> yeah, so he was like, oh, you should let me win so I can do that. And I was like, nah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Uh, <laughs> they, they were cool kids. Like one of, so it's like a comic book store also. So his other friend who wasn't playing, like grabbed a comic book off the wall and he like opened it up and there's like these vampire chicks like and their titties are just sh- like n- no, it's not like you know bra and then just cleavage. No, there's like full on naked titties and they're just like oh dude check it out and I was just like <laughs> I couldn't be like oh that's sweet you know like, I, want, yeah. I wanted to. Yeah, that's like, yeah. oh, amazing. Yeah, I love. Big cartoon vampire you're titties. Look, yeah. You're not supposed to sit next to a 10 year old and look at titties together. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Undead, yeah. so I was just like, oh, yeah, that, uh, I can't I can't say anything. It's illegal for what I want to say. Like, Bro, you want to do some uh, mutual masturbation? <laughs> yeah, back to back. Back to back. So, uh, but, um, so I was like, you know, if, if I win something, you know, we'll split it or whatever. <laughs> so I, I won the raffle into the booster box, but I didn't end up winning the box. But uh, I ended up uh, going 3-2, uh, so I won two booster packs, and I went over and gave the kid a booster pack. Just, you know, probably meant, like, a lot more to him than it would mean to me. But if we would have pulled a foil, like, you know, yeah, you've fetch been land, yourself. no, I would have been punching him, taking yeah, it, and running, <laughs> and never going back to that store. Kid, you wouldn't need to run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was kind of poor. No, anyways, he gave yeah. you a cookie, right? <laughs> oh, so, yeah, that's actually the reason I... Uh, I gave him the pack is because, you know, I beat him. And he's like, oh, man, you totally dream crushed me. <laughs> 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 and then uh, no, so I went outside to smoke. And when I came back in, he was like, oh, you want a piece of my pizza cookie? You know, and I was like, oh, you're <laughs> awesome, dude. Like, I would love a piece of your pizza cookie. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I gave him the pack afterwards. And, uh, yeah, it was definitely a fun time. Uh, but I don't know about... So sealed, it would probably be hard to go four colors unless you have, like, super good fixing, which I did not. I had, like, two fixing cards. Yeah, it does suck that you that can't, you know, draft your fixing. You can't, like, find it. You just have to, like, oh, there it is. Yeah, what's the luck of the draft? Yeah. Oh, I get what I get. That's all I get. So, yeah, I had fun, though. So, uh, what did you, uh, pick? Mr. Stone Crow. Mr. Crow? Yeah, I wanted to go Mardu. Because that's just... I like the black, and I'm just getting into it. But so far, I think that's my favorite color is black. But the uh, I drew a foil Rattleclaw Mystic and another Rattleclaw Mystic, and I'm like, well, you know, there's freaking some mana fucking ramping right there. How so what, I... what clan did you pick though? Pick Mardu. Yeah, you want Mardu. Mardu. Okay. Pick Mardu. I didn't go Mardu. I couldn't go. Yeah, yeah, I didn't get enough. I didn't get enough good shit to go Mardu. So what? What the? What's uh, Teamer? Okay, yeah. I went Teamer. And uh, I thought, okay, this is, you know, I got some good cards to go with it, and Sagu Mauler, you know, he ended up freaking winning me like three games overall. What guy is that? On the field. He's that 6-6 six, six trample. Yeah, that with guy's he- oh, hexproof. hexproof. Hexproof trample. Dude, yeah. he's a bomb in yeah. well, Come on, sure. hexproof 6-6 right. six, six trample? That's not fair. Yeah, he was pretty badass. I think you pulled better teamer cards <laughs> than my teamer deck. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, no, I'll get, we'll get there. But <laughs> but unfortunately, I, I ended up going 1-4. and four. The first, I was pretty pumped, though. It was the first match. I went in there and, and beat him pretty handily. I was like, holy crap, this is my first ever limited draft or you know, limited freaking tournament ever of all time my first time and it wasn't drafting but my first limited sealed whatever sitting there and beat him and it was, you know good match the guy was a cool guy and went to the next one and played this one kid and he was he was cool but you know, he just utterly utterly raped me you know like probably, Should probably, be probably 14 years old and yeah. he's out there and he freaking we're stalemating for a little can, while can 14 year olds rape Oh, he raped me. Right, I'll, right. I'll tell you that much. I've, it didn't feel much, but it was there. <laughs> but it was there. <laughs> he freaking me. Well, we kind of stalemate going, and then all of a sudden he gets a card, and he gets freaking three more tokens on the board, <clears throat> and then out comes Ankle Shanker. That was the end of that. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I do like the ankle shaker. Yeah, I plan on building a deck <laughs> that definitely has goblin in there. Deck. Yeah, 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 goblin token, freaking Mardu, whatever style. But uh, so you know, he beat me. He was he was cool enough. The next kid I played though was the older brother of the kid that you gave the pack to. Fucking cocksucker. Like, <laughs> I don't give two shits I lost this kid. I Talking to him, he's been playing, he's like 13 and playing for like 10 years or some shit like that. <laughs> playing since he's in the like, And he's out there and he's just like, I had a buy last round, so I'm going to see if, you know, how my deck does. I think it probably won't be that good. He goes out there and just, I couldn't do shit. It was done. <laughs> and the worst part of going into it is, I'm like, cool, I got two Radical Mystics. Great, I got mana ramping up the ass. I can freaking go for this thing and I think I'll have a good, okay tournament here. I, uh, in the entire, every single match, every game overall, I drew it twice, <clears throat> and both times with opening hand. The Radical Mystic? Yeah. And I drew both of them at the same time in opening hand. Oh. So the first game was against this kid. The first game, I'm like, oh, okay, cool, I got this. The next, you know, he just, he went so, he had like a, a aggro deck, and he just totally ran me over before I had a chance to really do anything. <laughs> I, I actually did the whole um, morph thing with him, so I was able to, you know, play him down and flip it, get the extra three mana. So that was cool, I brought that out, but then at that point, he had me beat already anyway, so it didn't really matter. So he just ran me over. So it wasn't that he you know, utterly raped me, that's fine, I just started Magic. It was that he was such a cocky little piece of shit. It's like, <laughs> somebody needs to dick slap you and fucking tell you, hey, stop being a fucking cunt, okay? Because you're being an asshole. I was just like, dude, he's like, well, you want a trade card? Like, no, I'm good. I'm going to go over over and play you when you were still kind of pouting in the corner. Nice. <laughs> I'm going to go play you a match and see what happens and hang out rather than deal with this little fucker anymore. That's so funny. And then the next, the four, fourth match, I played against um, the dad of the second match kid I played against. And we had a good matchup. I won game one. He won game two. It was a spotlight match. Game three goes, you know, we're having a good rapport. It was fun playing against him and whatnot. And game three goes, and next thing you know, the whole, you know, he was, he was a real slow player. Like, I'm, I'm new to it. I'm a little slower. But he was, you know, been playing a lot. I don't know how much longer. But he's just, like, two minutes for every turn. Very. Like, like just, no, no, no. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. And then he played something. And it just took forever. So he ran out of time. So he went down to the five-turn counter. And I had played something or other. And That's anyways, a weird card. It's a good yeah. card. Yeah, I don't remember. Something or other is probably I, the I best card. I wasn't planning on yeah. being the podcast. So I didn't know. The, oh, I need to remember what I was playing. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to talk about cards. I have no idea what they're doing. Yeah, I don't know what's going on yet. <laughs> but anyway, so we get there, and all of a sudden, turn four happens of five turns left. So counting from five down. And he's able to, like, wipe my board. And at that point, I actually had, like, 32 life. So I'm like, okay, well, fuck, can I hold on for, like, three more turns? <laughs> Try to plan a couple of things, and he freaking had some uh, counter cancel spell or something on me. I'm like, fuck, dude, come on, let's just draw so we can both spin the fucking wheel, you <laughs> asshole. <laughs> turn, and the last turn, he managed to pull out whatever top card he needed to kill me off. I was like, fuck, you know, good match, but I was like, you son of a bitch. Nice and good. And then uh, my fifth game was another spotlight game against the kid that you get to pack to. And I didn't have the same view as him as you did. <laughs> he, he was the little brother of that little asshole kid. And I saw the same fucking little cocky attitude in him. <laughs> and, uh, uh, and amongst the cocky little attitude was the whiny, gimme, 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 oh, let me win. Like, let you win. You've been playing for fucking eight years. I started a month ago. Yeah, let me let win. Let me win. <laughs> <laughs> and he just kept begging for shit. I'm like, you're, you're just being fucking annoying, man. Like, I understand you're a little kid. You gotta grow up. No big deal. But it was just kind of like... I don't know. I didn't enjoy playing against those two little kids, the brothers. Yeah, yeah. They just weren't fun to play with. Yeah, you know? they're listening right now too. So they are. Yeah, they're yeah, actually they're our crying. top they're two supporters. Tears <laughs> streaming down their faces. <laughs> <laughs> but I had a great. I had a great time. You know, I didn't eat. I only ate at like six thirty in the morning. So the uh, turn was at three and didn't end till like nine thirty, ten o'clock at night. Yeah, so I was surprised. I was just in there starving, like like half lteheaded and ready to fall like over and yeah, I had like a, I had like a like, Kit Kat shit. when I was there. Yeah, I'm I surprised you made it home like <laughs> yeah. alive. I'm surprised you even made it home that night. <laughs> <laughs> like oh, I ended this thing like fuck. I, I didn't know it was gonna take six hours, and I didn't. I should have eaten before I got here. <laughs> fuck. Yeah, yeah. With with uh, more tournaments, you'll you'll get to know. Yeah, you gotta yeah. fucking eat ahead of time. Bring some snacks. Make sure you yeah. bring some like drink a lot fluids. of water. Yeah. Bring a little, a little bit of coke. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I had a great time though. It was a lot of fun. You know, so first time going, I was okay with winning one match and then you know a couple more games after that. But no, I, I liked your, I liked your, uh, your draft pool it was actually or your your sealed pool was really nice. Yeah. yeah, I felt like my my deck wasn't that bad. It just 
these kids had some intense stuff that was real fast. And it was more of a slow build up, and then unfortunately my man ramping never happened. But every time I was able to get that ta Tagu Muller, Sagu Muller on the field, I won every single game I was able to get him out there. Yeah. <laughs> and then I did win a frick with the, the Icy Blast. I had the power, the four power uh, creature on the field. Nice. So I was able to keep them tapped for like their turn right then, and then their next turn, and swing in and kill them off. Hell so yeah! That was that was that was a fun one. I like those, those cards that tap down, dude. They they're good. They're but good. They're it's like the good. best blue. I don't know what else is good in blue, but those cards are nice. Icy blast and the other raids. So what about you, Rike? Oh, Tell I, us about yeah, your yeah, yeah, I was just a team. Fabulous. And, oh man, my seal pool is so good, guys. Dude, you didn't play against any bears. That's the thing. If you did, did, then they would have been like, oh, punch in the face. I oh, got one bear in my whole pool. Like, a, what's it? It's a, it's a two mana. Or it's a three mana. The four two? Yeah, the four two. The I don't know bear. what it's called. I think it's, I can't think of the name. I don't know any of the names. It's a bigger bear. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's, 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 not a, it's, it's not a two bear. two, it's a two anymore. <laughs> but it's a bigger bear. Um, it's not the bears your grandpa's played with. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you know the, the green one? The power creep is real. Yeah, the green bear. The four two alpine bear? Yeah, the alpine bear. But uh, I, no, I, I ended up picking Ooh, Teamer. I'm getting better. I'm getting, I'm getting <laughs> yeah, I a little bit. Until, until it's wrong. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I could be wrong. No. But I think it's what it is. Don't you, don't you dare look it up. Don't <laughs> look it up. <laughs> Fuck you, then. <laughs> so I, I ended up picking uh, Teamer for my, my sealed pre-release. And uh, I opened nothing good. My promo was the uh, the Teamer. The, uh, what the heck is the instant where it's uh, you can cancel or uh, counter. Mind swipe? Yeah, it's Mind Swipe. We counter a uh, no 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 that's a different one. Huh. It's one that you counter a uh, counter target spell put counter counters creature thing. Yeah, you tar oh, the, target. Oh, the counter morph creature. No, no, it's no, an no, instant. No. It's an instant, but you counter target creature spell, and then you get to put put, put two counters on oh, one okay, of your creatures. Let them talk. God, jeez. <laughs> the jackal. God. The jackal. The jackal. The jackal. Okay, it's I'm partly good. right. It's alpine grizzly. Alpine ah, grizzly. Very good. Very good. Close yeah, enough. You're way off. Yeah. But that was all. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> None of you assholes fucking knew the name. That's right. <laughs> and then the only mythic I really got to play was the uh, the red phoenix, where it uh, it it'll morph if it uh, if it dies, and then you can pay the mana to morph it back. Four, four one. Yeah, it's a four Flyer. one. Flyer. Does it for cause you? damage to to everybody? <laughs> yeah, it causes two damage to every player. So it, I never got to really get in with it. I mean, the guys that I played had flyers, and it was just like, oh, a four one. I'll just jump with my one two flyer, and then oh, good luck. You have a two two on you know. Morph card on the on the in play. I'm just gonna go ahead and just kill that now. And it's like, well, it did no good for me. But I, I pretty much, I lost every game I played, except for the one versus uh, Knife City. <laughs> but I still count that as a loss. Yeah, we I, both lost. I only <laughs> won against Knife City. You, know? you, you should have signed the paper and be like, no winners. Yeah. <laughs> this game has no winners. Yeah. Winning against Knife City was four colors. Yeah. Was not a win at all for me. I just pretty much just sat there and just puke cards out, and I was like, that was the game against. But I, I, there was other people that had like awesome seal pools or like just like had way better. Uh, I just wanted to force Teamer because I, I really wanted to play Teamer no matter how bad. I pulled like some like decent Abzan stuff, but I didn't have enough support to, to play those colors. So I was just kind of like, well, I like Teamer. I want to make it work. I want to play some this bear. Uh, the all star cards that I had was the, uh, I think it's a two mana one one with Regenerate. Oh, yeah. That guy was a brick house to everybody. Because as long as I kept that one green up or whatever mana cost, the two green. Two colorless. Two yeah, colorless. The two yeah, colorless. One green to cast and then two colorless to regenerate. Yeah, so the regenerate, I just blocked, just kept blocking with them and just regenerate them until I could get enough mana to get like one of my big fatties out. But my deck was just, didn't curve out very well. I played everyone else that had like, like synergy with, um, freaking Outlast. I played an Outlast deck that was just like, just ran over my big dudes. Like, literally, I couldn't attack into it, and he was just Outlasted his one guy every time. And just like, he got him up to like an 8-8. Eight, eight. I was like, well, that's bigger than all my guys. So I'm like, I'm just gonna just pack my cards up and just go and yeah. in the corner now. So, that's what the, so the Abzan thing, like I was playing, I ended up picking up the it's a 3-2, uh, all things with counters have lifelink, and then a 2-1, all things with counters have first strike. So just getting those two on the board, I mean, I know, of course, the removal just takes them away, but having everything with a counter have lifelink is, like, the most bomby crap in Limited ever. To, to have, you know, it's all about getting that 20 damage in, you know what I mean? That's, like, all your deck is expected to do. If they keeps, it's like... If it keeps the life keeps going up, you don't have the the fatties to like take care of it. You know what I mean? So yeah, just just swinging back and forth and moving up life and having first strike so they couldn't block when I would attack with my other life linker. Oh, it's just yeah. This dude literally had fantastic. a fucking eight eight 
Reach. I think it's Reach. No, Life Link and First Strike. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, he's already at 32 health, and I'm like at 7. I'm like, eh, I'm just just going to scoop it up now. <laughs> that's that, what happens, that was though. a fun game and all. <laughs> like, I got two guys on the board. And it's, that's a lot of that's fun magic. <laughs> but no, Outlast was awesome. Uh, I actually lost to a Jeskai deck uh, that was playing Prowess Flyers, and that was amazing. Cause... Dude, that... Those flyers, man. That the, the, they have two of them that are like the three threes with like flying uh, yeah. vigilance, and then the other one has haste or whatever for one cheaper. Yeah. The, it, those flyers, dude, are really really good. I had no, I had like one flying creature <clears throat> and one guy with reach, and I was just like, ah, well, he has flyers. I just I could see. Yeah, that things. outlast reach guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was it. I was like, okay, well. You know, he's got fly. He's just flying over me. It's like it doesn't matter what I do. It's just he's gonna fly over me and. And play combat tricks on me, but yep. but I had fun. I had a lot of good time just playing the fucking shit out of Teamer. But I probably will never, ever, ever play sealed Teamer ever again, <laughs> <laughs> ever. <clears throat> but it, guys, it was fun. Did you guys get to play with any of the charms? I didn't get any charms, okay. unfortunately. I no. used, I used it. I had a charm used against me. Charm. Teamer charm, okay. Abzan charm blew me up, but yeah. The what? Mardu charm is pretty nice. I like that. Yeah, I know it's really good. For damage to target creature, or you can put two one ones with first strike. Nice little party trick. So if they yeah, if they just swing in with their more for yeah. whatever, and sh- or their four two bear, it's like yeah, my shitty one ones will just take you out. I'm still a huge fan of Abzan charm. I think that's probably the best charm. You know, be able to exile a creature with like what's it three, three power or greater, yeah, which is everything. Which is everything. Everything you want. To kill. Yeah, yeah, anything that's a threat that you need to get off the board. <laughs> Not only that, but you can add two counters on creatures, mm-hmm. and you can, or if you, want, you get stuck with card, you can draw two cards and lose two health. It's great. No, it's that's amazing. It is. For every time mana, I had it in my hand, because I had the Abzam charm, is just. You just want to... You can use it any time. Yeah, there's literally no situation like, when do I like, use this? Do I use it then? Oh, I can use it now. Okay, I'll wait. I'll wait. No, I can use it now. Okay, I can use it now. Like, it, it's always available to use. It's so exciting to have that card in your yeah, hand. Like whatever your position you're in, you're like, you're you're down. Okay, well, I have two life to spare. I need cards. You use know, but cards. then when you use it, you're like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have used it. Like, there's so much <laughs> flexibility with it. I just gave away my one of my best cards yeah. for, like... This guy. Well, I don't, know, well, we'll, we'll get to it because we did a we did a, ended up doing a little uh, four man draft. But I was I drafted Abzan and I was holding on to that that Abzan charm for the longest time. And it is definitely a card that like you want to play it, but it's like you you are like kind of like reserved with it because you don't know <laughs> like when it's going to be the best use of like one of the three. Abilities. So let's go over that real speed round. Uh, we did another draft where well, we four person draft four person draft after we did the oh, bu- real quick on the up? teamer charm. Like I, I played with it. The only time I freaking used it though was uh, I used only the uh, counter spell effect on it. Oh, really? That's yeah. That's interesting. That's the only I used it like three different times, and it was what counter spell unless the the caster can uh, sp- excuse me pay three. Yeah, yeah right. So still make it go. So through. it's a good spell. That's funny though that it got used as that. That's, That's the only one I used it as. Uh, what what are the other two on there? I don't remember. The is it four damage to target player? Is that a thing? Uh, I think it's player creature. No, it's no, uh, one, one or the other. other. One, one of them's creature. Mardu's one creature, the other one's player. Player, oh, yeah, player. Mm. And then the middle one, isn't it like bounce something back to their hand or something like that? Or is that not it? Yeah, it's, no, the, no. it's the blue. Whatever some, the blue something like that. So, anyways. Yeah, no, there isn't it? It's just I, good, though. I, I use it as a counter spell each time. So, after we did the booster box opening videos, we did another draft. After we opened up all of our packs, we, uh, us four did the, uh, just a regular draft or whatever. So, it's it a lot of fun. Passing all those packs around, I mean, there was like really strong cards to be found, and a lot of open colors, uh, blue, open green. Colors. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, because like, pack oh two went around, God. and we're like, "Wow, blue is really open right now." Like nobody and then, here drafted. And then blue. I was like, "Okay, I'm gonna go to Je- I'm switching to Jeskai." And then I was like, "Okay, wait, maybe I want to say Abzan." Okay, how about how about Jeskai? Or no, I went Mardu. I went Mardu. Okay, no, no, I want to go Jeskai. So I just did four colors for the. <laughs> <laughs> well, the card pool wasn't that because it's only we only had you know there's four people drafting and. There's not if you had eight people you have a way better card selection, but, right? But yeah, so you kind of had that like was a huge difference. Your picks had to like tonight. matter. Like when you're doing like a four person <clears throat> draft and you're not supplementing more packs, like you have to your picks have to matter. You can't just be like, oh well, I'm just gonna get this because it looks good. You yeah. Be like oh, so, okay, this needs to be. So I you went this. Abzan. So, so what, yeah. what was the star player? I went Abzan, and star player was definitely all the life link. That I got. Well, I went Abzan. You're the three-two um, life linker. Abzan and out- the four-four. Life yeah, I had out- Outlast. I went Outlast. Outlast was your deck was nuts. Abzan Outlast is pretty much what I went. I had the uh, the life link guy. I had the first strike guys. I had the trample guys. I didn't have the reach guy, 
But uh, Outlast is definitely a fun mechanic, especially when you get to a board state where it's like, well, I don't have anything to do. I can't attack in. They can't attack into me. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and just dump one or two mana and just make this guy bigger. And uh, But the, the definitely the all-star of my deck was definitely the uh, the Abzan Charm and the First Strike Outlast guy. Even though he's like, what, I think he's an uncommon? Yeah, he's a, no, he's a common. He's a common. He's for, amazing. For, it's a 2-1 for 2. Amazing. And any, any cards that give you uh, plus counters on stuff, like just... Throw yeah, everybody first strike. Throw in there and first strike. All right, so speed round go. Speed round go. <laughs> I had a big learning curve to go here. My first, we had a draft at a different people's house on Friday night. There was eight people there. Lots of cards to choose from. I felt I had a, a real good deck. I came in second overall behind uh, Hot Sauce over there. You know, Knife and Reich weren't there, but uh, it was great. And then the next day, I play these three guys and a little more advanced players and I really want to go Mardu colors, and even though knowing that Knife loves that, and then Hot Sauce kicks a lot of those colors too a lot of the time, I'm like, I, I want to try to force it. It's a horrible decision. Horrible decision. I ended up just not getting anything good going. So by the end of it all, I ended up playing a five color deck. <laughs> yeah, as you we were giving shit over here. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah. That's why I wanted to say he's advanced. He yeah. should know better. <laughs> you four colors, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> <the> five colors. <laughs> Thing was though, I did beat Knife the first game I played with it. Yeah. So that made me feel a little better because I'm like, I don't want to lose every single game. Be horrible to the entire <laughs> little, or little draft tournament here. <laughs> I ended up winning the match, but, well, course, he, he, but... he took the uh, took. I pulled a. Uh, so we used uh, packs out of our booster box, and I had a uh, Soren and <laughs> two games against him. I pulled it out, and first time I used a token. And he bounced my token and then swung in to kill Sorn. Mm -hmm. Then the second time I pulled him out, he uh, countered him. So I was just like, Make, doing that play. <laughs> yeah, oh, just, I was pumped. <laughs> yeah, that'll, that'll piss it's you off. Like, you can yeah. just go ahead and rape me now, but I just killed Sorn twice. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah, but you did stumble on mana pretty hard that second I, I, game. The second game, yeah, yeah, real quick went down. But actually, that was the only game that I actually had mana problems, which I thought was, like, insane. Because really, I'm like, I'm being an idiot playing five cards because I had nothing else going on. Right. Because I just didn't... I tried to force something that yeah, was, was a horrible choice. It wasn't it was, available at all. At yeah. All. yeah. Then, uh, black but, was completely gone. I cut from, all the removal out of black. Yeah. I went from the night before with eight packs going around and going, like, I got options for days going through that. And then to the four-person draft, and I didn't was not mentally or experiencedly prepared for it. It didn't go well. I tried forcing it. It didn't work. And then by the time I realized this isn't going to work, it was too late to choose something. So I just kept going, oh, well, maybe I'll just hate on these guys a little bit and take something <laughs> that can help them. <laughs> I'm going to lose anyways. I'm just going to fuck them a little bit. <laughs> Speed run, go. So my first pack, I pulled Soren, And so I was just like, I'm, I'm white, black, something, you know? And, uh... Something is right. Like Crow was saying, uh, I knew that Mardu was just going to be heavily picked uh, just because of the flavor of the gentleman I was playing. Um, so, But I, I ended up picking Mardu and having a decent deck. It wasn't like a great Mardu deck, but um, it was decent. I won the match against Crow, and then Reich stomped me with his fucking Outlast deck. The activation for your Outlast creatures was just so cheap. That by the time you got like two of them out, you could just start pumping them both up for like a mana or two every turn. Well, then I had that little combo with the enchantment too, where I would take uh, counters <laughs> off and, and yeah, minus, oh. minus mi one minus one on whatever. Yeah. So, yeah. so everyone was so down on that black <laughs> enchantment where you take counters off and do minus x minus x, dude. That thing overperformed in your deck like so well. You're like oh look at that flyer. Okay. Yeah, you, you. Oh man, you took that card. What an idiot. Oh, I just. Took out four of my guys, all right. Yeah, it was an experimental card. Yeah, I was testing that one out. It's pretty good, I guess. Kinda but like, uh, I kind of feel like the Outlast mechanic was put in like to eliminate stalemates and limited. Am I off base there? No, it was, yeah. I mean, that's that's a good way to look at it because when you when you play the cards on curve, then they're kind of match up to what uh, what you were uh, what you're doing and what your opponent's doing. But uh, once you get to Outlast them. Uh, they just take over the game. Yeah. But, and then I didn't play game three because I went to go give my girlfriend a token. She got six years clean, so that was a little bit more important. So oh, yeah. why don't you go ahead and tell them what you uh, got, Hatsas? Okay. All right, so. What'd you draft? We, well, we drafted, right? And I drafted, uh, let me play one of these fools. 
I drafted um, Mardu plus blue, right? That's what it's called, pretty much. Because there's Mardu some Jeskai stuff to pick up, and I was like, all right, let's do it. Uh, I would say real quick that my all star was Reflecting Palm because it's prevent. It says prevent damage from one source. Uh, if damage is prevented, do that much damage to target player or that player's the, the player that dealt damage to you. Actually, you can't choose. So like, if I, got, if I got someone, yeah, yeah, well, anyone really. Yeah. If I got someone down to like five health or whatever, I didn't. You don't have. There's not a lot of burn spells that are going to do it to the player. They can do it to the creature. They had like a five man or five damage and six damage burn spells to a creature, but Reflecting Palm, I just wait for someone to attack him with their biggest guy. No blockers. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and redirect that to your face, and then they die. You know See, I, mean? I saw you playing against him one of the matches, and I saw your hand with that card. I didn't really know the full text. I knew you deflected damage back to him, and he was about to swing in. I think he had like five on the board, at least two or three flyers, mm -hmm. and he had to swing in with all of them. He was debating about to swing all of them, and I kind of thought that the Palm directed all damage back. No, yeah, all those creatures, so for a second, yeah, like, oh, you were losing like, I don't know, 12, 15 to 3 at that point, so I'm like, oh, he's going to kill it right now! Swing for it all, right? Yeah, right, lose. right. No, no, no. But yeah, it's still, it's it's a, yeah, but it's still a badass. It's I just, a two-mana two burn them. spell Yeah, that can be infinite. Like, it's two mana that it'll at least be two or three. Dude, spit out the cum already. Yeah, ugh, mm -hmm. But it's just, I don't want to leave it in there. <laughs> so, yeah, so it, it could be for like two or three if you really have to use it. Okay, use it on some three power dude, but otherwise, like, let them hit you with their six, and you do six damage with two mana, and you prevent their damage. Like, what is, That's what is good. wrong here? That's really good. Uh, the art is amazing. Yeah, the art's really good. And in foil, it's gotta be beautiful. Anyways, so I wanted to mention one thing, though. The draft that we did, uh, me and Crow and the six of the guys that we were, were drafting with, or one girl also. Um, I, I drafted the most ridiculous Mardu deck, the most powerful deck I've ever drafted before, where I had Ankle Shanker and the 7 2 Khan from Mardu, the one that's indestructible when they're attacking or whatever. Yeah. That thing, like that. I had uh, Butcher of the Horde. I had. Yeah, you were a prick. <laughs> yeah, I had Mardu Charm, and I had Removal for Days. Like, and I had uh, the. There's like three soldier tokens you can bring out, and it was just amazing. When every every time I'd pull my look at my hand, then I'm like, oh my god, there's no way I can lose. There's just no way. <laughs> so yeah, so I went I went undefeated like the whole freaking night basically. I like, did get you run for your money though when we when we played. Right, yeah, you like, did. We did go three matches, and then that last one mm -hmm. it wasn't like a. And obviously, you had a better, you know, going on it. But yeah, I that like first I had game you played, good. you had you were like on curve, like really strong mm -hmm. from the get go. He was bringing out like, like two power, three power, four power, five power creatures. It was it was too much to deal with. But otherwise, though, it's just like it's just ridiculous. When it gets to like turn five, look at my hand. I'm like, listen, <laughs> you're not gonna win. Yeah, I, just I, I look up say. at you and you smile and you show someone's yeah. card. I'm like, you fucking <laughs> yeah, like, Because the con has haste and Ankle Shanker has haste, so it's like just cut, just. Bring it back to my turn, and I win. Yeah. And so that's the, the dude Mardu just killed. I played Outlast guys too, and it was just crazy. <laughs> but anyways, so Mr. Knife City had to take a little uh, leave of absence. A little he hiatus. Will, a little hiatus. He'll be back mom shortly. Mom keys in the car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't have it. Pretty much. Too. What are you gonna do there, though? <laughs> he's being a good. He's being a good son. Oh. So good let's go ahead and move right along here I into go too far. good person. Come on, a little bit that's true. into <laughs> the uh, standard tournaments for this weekend. Yeah, so there was what two two tournaments on the same weekend that uh, that had the new set standard of cons. Yeah, they had uh, con standard or whatever. They had called. Star City game, Star City Open Standard in Edison and in Indianapolis. So running down like. Uh, on one of them, Abzan took first and second place. It was Abzan Reanimator, which is like Ashen Rider yeah. and the the spider that throws like two cards in your graveyard at all times. I think it plays four uh, Whip of Erebos. Yeah. It's like wants to bring stuff. <laughs> that, back. Well, that 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 Reanimator deck was definitely a thing, like block constructed mm -hmm. even before. Um, Ab or like you know before uh, cons came out, so that doesn't surprise me. That's actually like a a, a decent deck right now, right? Because Ashen Riders of House still. Another thing that it, now this is another powerful ass card for a strategy like this is Siege Rhino. Siege Rhino is trample four five for four mana. Uh, it's uh, Abzan colors, of course. And when it enters the battlefield, each opponent loses three life, and you gain three life. So like, if you're getting down late game, just go ahead and whip. You, they lose three life, and then you swing in for four more. You know what I mean? That's like a huge turnaround. It's just like if you were going to like... Like while Mono Black has... Does that web give lifelink too or something like that? What's that? Yeah, and it gives yeah, lifelink too. So you're swinging in too. for all that. So it's just like double, you know? 
So like like in one of the strategies of mono black is to bring out the uh, the apostle or well, not the apostle. What's that guy that the five mana guy that it drains drains them for devotion and you gain devotion? Oh, that's a uh, great merchant of Asphodel. Great, yeah, great merchant. So it's kind of a strategy like that, you know, where you can whip this guy back and it hits the it reacts when it hits the board immediately. Yeah, and so that's awesome. And then besides that, you know, Ashen Rider, duh, exile target permanent. Excellent. Ashen Rider like is just broken. Yeah, good. and then we have especially a lot of them block too. We have Hornet Queen. You know, if you had to whip that thing back in, if it, if it died, well, when it, when it comes out the first time, if it does, it's a, you know, it's a 2-2 two, two death touch flyer, brings out 4-1-1 one, one flyer death touches, okay, it <laughs> dies, cool, and you can somehow wipe up their board, that's fine too. Go and whip it back, yeah, the 2-2 two, two only lasts that turn, but the four, all the 4-1-1s, the one, one flying a death yeah. touch, come back. Wow. Like, that's just too that's, powerful, that's you know? Insane. <laughs> so, it's, I think it's a pretty That sweet, is a nice deck, though, but strategy. not my style. No, no, I, it's not really mine either, but I can see why it would be super powerful. Was it, was it both the uh, Abzan decks running the uh, Ashen Riders, or was there another? No, no, uh, this uh, next one was, second, second place, place was Abzan Midrange. Oh, okay, here we go, that's, and, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah, and I could, yeah, basically, I could talk about this the way I'm going to talk about the deck I'm going to build, because honestly, it's identical to this, minus, um... I, mixing around the Planeswalkers and the Instants and Sorceries. But I'll go through the list right now. It's three Brymaz. Finally, Brymaz has a home. Does he, does he have a home? Hopefully. Does he? I hope so. We'll God, see. He's, he's, he, he's, he's so much money. Like He has not gone down from like $25 since <laughs> I, he was released. I <laughs> know. He's, he didn't have a hey, deck for the longest right now, time. He's low of 24, mid of 28. Oh, shit. I got to go buy 10. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right now. Right now. <laughs> Perfect time to buy. Maybe he's playing, savvy consumer. He's playing three of the Cat, cat Kings. He's playing four Courser of Crufix. Of course. Oh God, he's you, playing green, duh. Four Sylvan Carry Tids, duh. He's playing green. Yeah, if you're, if you're playing green, you have eight those eight cards no matter what. Yeah, this is awesome too. This is I just love this deck. I can't stand looking at this thing. Four uh, Fleece Bane Lion. Like I want to see that guy too. Fucking, I hate Fleece Bane Lion. He's so <laughs> so awful. He's got like no home except he's for so the, good. He's awful. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Selesnya Aggro had him in, but otherwise, like he didn't get well, any he's play. He's just such a wall. Oh, dude, indestructible hex proof. You can't have those two <laughs> things on one creature. <laughs> So he has four of those, and then he's got three... You can't get rid of that. How do yeah. You, at all. Is there I any know. way to get rid of that? He, there was a way. Yeah, sacrifice. I don't think there's way. any sacrifice that like like that anymore. I'll go into it right when I read the deck list. So, yeah. Well, so they get an Erebos makes it, when you kill somebody, yes, out, you can flash it in, and you have to sacrifice it, because exactly. that's the only one over. So you can do that. So there's, uh, and then three Wingmate Rock, which is the two, three, four flyers that come in. He's playing four Elspeth. That's like way too many else paths. That way, that's it's way awesome, too many. but it's that's too a good win many. condition. But I think four is way too many. His board is already like super powerful. Three Abzan Charm, one Bile Blight, four Heroes Downfall, and two Utter End. And that's it. That's like the whole list right there. So my opinion about it is those creatures are the best thing ever. I love all of those creatures in this deck. I can't believe that it's like a thing. That you I'm glad that Fleece Main Lions like get in play. Yeah, and like the Cat King of Oreos is getting. Getting uh, cat king of Oreos, That's whatever it's it like. <laughs> yeah, so you have that, and uh, give me that cookie. I just think it's, I just think it's super freaking powerful. Feeling. So, whoa, okay, whoa, <laughs> give me that feeling. Are you sure? The, the, the feeling. Yeah. So I was playing back in the day with um, a quickness, and I play. I was playing a deck that it was a hexproof deck. I was playing like my own homebrew, so it wasn't very good, but it's good enough. And I played for fleece main uh, lion. So. When it you know when it comes out, it's a three. It's two mana for a three three, right? And then it has the monstrosity ability, which is one, uh, or it gets one counter, and then it's the monstrosity. I think it's it's five. Like, yeah, four or five mana to yeah. monstrosity. It's still like pretty well cheap. worth it. Yeah. So you do that. So I had a four four indestructible hexproof on the board, right? So I'm an idiot, but it's also the most rare scenario ever. I brought out a second one, right? That wasn't monstrosity yet. I brought him out, and then he was like, "Wait a minute." I can detention sphere, detention sphere your other fleece main line, and it'll scoop up your other one too. Because hmm. it you exile target non land permanent, and then anything of the same name it does the same thing. Yep. And you don't target those next ones; you only target so the first. It one. doesn't have like the hex cruise before its monstrosity. What's that? Okay. No, it doesn't have hex. Cruise. Yeah, no. no, it's just a three three until it's monstrous. Yeah, it's a three three for two, and that's it. Okay, and then you can pay five. Once it and gets monstrosity. monstrosity. It, yeah, it gets the hex proof. So that's out. another way. Besides sacrificing crazy. a creature, yeah. he was able to exile that one and all the ones with the same name. And I was that's like. Cool. <laughs> no, you know, I thought I had this game in the bag. <laughs> yeah, so. once he gets like that's the card. Like once he hits to the board, like if you don't get him off the board, if he's on curve at like turn two or whatever, you don't get him off the board by like turn three four. He's gonna get out of hand. 
Yeah, it's it's freaking ridiculous. But I mean, he didn't say much play. I mean, there's too much uh, mono black was around because with the uh, the hex, the one where he makes you sacrifice uh, ultimate, not ultimate price, but uh, oh, uh, what heck? is that one? God damn it! Anyways, there's a there's a black card that makes you sacrifice a creature and, that's, and then gain life to its toughness. Yeah, yeah, that you you gain life. You have to sacrifice your own creature mm-hmm. and then you gain the life of however much toughness it has. Exactly. God, what the heck? I, my brain is like not working. So, is there anything we want to see here? We got. I want to see that red green mid range. Okay, that's red, the third green, place right there. Mid range. It's probably the same see. thing. Watch. It's, it's I mean, all honestly. the same. I'll tell you right now. It's probably okay. Uh, no, no, because it's what it is. It's the uh, it's the Goblin Rabble Master. Oh, is this the the Rabble Master? It's like the same thing. Pelucrano, Stormbreath Dragon, Sylvan Caryatid. It's literally yeah. yeah one it's Miley, uh, in it. <laughs> Bo- one Sarkan. Boom Seder. See, I don't like Sarkan that much. Now that I've like, look, I would rather play Stormbreath Dragon and uh, Xenagos, uh the Reveler, over Sarkan. Because I mean, you already explain. Sarkan's like what a four four flyer indestructible for a plus one. Well, as it's forty seven by the way. While as Stormbreath is has it's a four four flyer with haste. It's not indestructible, but it has pro white, which I think white is going to be a huge deal <coughs> with uh, Abzan, like you know, and Mardu and Mardu. Utter one, end can't you, target you it. You need pro white right now, just for you, you can block it. You can you know you can't be targeted by the uh, the, the, the was it the uh, defensive sphere is not here, but the the O ring, the new O ring. Uh, yeah, banishing light. Yeah, you have banishing light, and then like so you, you got a blown out O ring. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so my O ring got blown out, dude. Even the destru- indestructible four four flyer that Sarkin uh, produces. Yeah, but he can still he die. Can still, he can still exile him with utter end, and utter yeah. end is going to be played uh, at least a two of in basically anything playing white and black. I yeah. mean, it has to. And the dra- dragon has the uh, monstrosity ability, which is huge. I mean, just getting yeah, him to a do finisher. A bit you know, it's yeah. always a finisher. So I mean, I like. I mean, playing a one of a Sarkin, this guy is. I mean, he's probably just testing it out. Like, I don't think if it's gonna. I don't think he's going to have a really. It is. Role. It looks like he's testing it. One Nissa and one Sarkin. It looks like he's just playing it out. Yeah, know, but my trying. my deck, I wouldn't probably. I wouldn't be playing Rabble Masters or the Sarkin. But this looks pretty cool. I mean, he's Rabble Core- Masters. He's like got Court of Calling and some like crazy like tech in there. But uh, <coughs> Stoke the Flames. I can't believe that card. It's an uncommons, and it's like five dollars right now. <laughs> yeah, because it's it the is. O- it's sorcery speed, but it's the only like good removal. Okay, that it's, Red it's has. three dollars right now. Is it really three dollars? Uh, three between three and four. Which you're right though, because for an uncommon that is what is going on here. Yeah, four. How is that four dollars? Well, because we lost um, uh, the hell's it? Not uh, pillar of pillar of flame. It's the other one. The one that does four damage. Right. To target creatures. Right, right. But, still, but this allows you to do target creature or player, and it fits in with the burn because we lost some good burn stuff. With the uh, the rotation of RTR, and you can tap down your, you can like leave stuff back for defense. Yeah, when they attack, huge. you just go and convo- yeah, convoke everything, and everything's like good to go. I like, I like so that's pretty thing. freaking gigantic, right so there. So was this third place? This was uh, third play, third to fourth place, which is third. Yeah, I'm just this, glad my boy Elvis okay. Mystic still has a home. Yeah, really, <laughs> this guy? How is he gonna leave? I don't know. <laughs> okay, I was gonna say like what? He's like, <laughs> the all-star. This list is seriously there's there's four uh, mono green devotion lists in this thing. You believe that crap? I mean, but it's super strong. Mono Green Devotion. Are they playing the Hydra? They got to be playing all the Hydras, I'm sure. Let's see. We got yeah, Genesis, Genesis, Hydra, Genesis, Genesis Hydra. Genesis Hydra. I think Genesis amazing. Hydra and Hornet Queen are probably the main reasons this could be a thing. That and Nissa and Pelucranos. Hornet Queen, Pelucranos. Well, no, combo? but I'm saying the new cards. Oh, you know the new I mean? cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Reverend Hunter. That's cool. Uh, Soul of New Phyrexia. I don't. I don't know. What is? What is that? Hire of the Wilds. What is that thing? A two-two Death Touch. Uh, the ferocious guy. He gets plus. Oh, whenever, whenever it attacks, if you control a creature four or greater, it gets plus one plus one. Yeah, it's just a. Uh, it's, it's a. Probably it's like a, an Ash Zealot. That's pretty good for all the fatties you have. Yeah, that's pretty good. Which just doesn't good. have like any first strike or anything like that. But I like I like the uh, the mono green with Nylia and uh, Arbor Colossus. Corsair is good. Genesis Hydra. I love that car. I saw. I don't have any Genesis Hydras yet. I need to actually buy some. Just being able to like, like a mini. Uh, like what quarter calling where you just you know you look at the t- top you pay like six mana or whatever it is and you look at the top four cards and you'll probably be playing wait if you're playing mono green devotion like i played on moto and this dude did it for uh i think he did it for 16 yeah he was able to nick those and do a genesis hydra 16 16 genesis hydra and pull out whatever card he wanted to basically yeah you know and, and I mean? then your cards don't go in the graveyard just yes shuffles back exactly in. it goes to the bottom it goes to the bottom yeah so that's that's ridiculous right that's just it's that card is pretty crazy. I'm still not sold on Nissa though. I mean, in the mono green, yeah, it's good. God, but you're just. But I'm not sold on her in a red green. Nonconformist, get with the fucking times. Dude. Yeah, I still like. I'm a, still like a firm believer of uh, Chandra Pyromaster and Xenagos the Reveler. Look at this thing. We got uh, Teamer Super Friends, right? 
Kiora, Nissa, and Sarkin. Is that yeah. fun? No, I don't know about Kiora. Uh, you, what do you What do you know about? I don't know about, I don't know about like okay. All the planeswalkers are the bad. Nine Nine Kraken. <laughs> that's good. Everything else is like okay. It's whatever. It's not doing anything like substantial the moment she is the board. I like uh, I like you know like freaking Chandra. Even her plus one, you're doing one damage to the the player, and you can. Stop the blocks or stop. Yeah, but you get to minus one and draw a card and play an extra land. You get like you get to pay four mana and you get to have this like jump a turn basically. That's sweet, right? No, it's not cool. I guess in the shell, you jump a turn. The card's pretty you good. jump a turn for four mana. Yeah, and then they, and then there's that little bit of um. What do you want? What did uh? The green uh, has night? so much ramp already. You're already playing like all the whole ramp package. You don't really need a ton of mana. Yeah, usually. but then you can shut it down. But with, the card uh, draw is good. You know it, that's good. But uh, what what is a uh, knife said at best? It was like the. You get the like the equity or whatever the hell he said about a planeswalker, where like like they have to attack it, so oh, like, it well, saves yeah. you that next turn. Besides that, you draw that card. It's and like you a get buffer. That, yeah, you're, then you're getting a little bit of a health. They buffer. have to attack you. They're gonna you're protecting your, protecting your life total because they're like, well, obviously you have to kill a planeswalker, or else it gets out of hand. So they're gonna do that, and so it just takes away. Not only is it gaining you a turn by drawing a card and playing extra land, it's taking away one of their turns because they have to attack into it. Yeah, I want to see so. the uh, savage uh, knuckle blade nickelback guy. <laughs> I want to see that guy more often. Like, I don't, I don't know if he has like a home, like actual home in a deck yet. But... I'm pretty sure that ev- so far every team or deck has plays four of them. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Every team or deck has four. I don't know if Rattleclaw, Rattleclaw Mystic is going to do what it's supposed to. No, not when uh, Sylvian carries his around. I, I, I would I rather, I would much rather play Sylvian. I am a I firm would. believer on that. You got any uh, mystic? I just wish it was better because I drew two of them and I have the third one from buying the booster. So I'm like, oh, this is cool, but I get it. But for me, I haven't spent. I'm not playing much green, and I, if I were to build a deck, I have to this point don't have any sleeping characters. So I don't want to spend the money on. Yeah, it. they're expensive. So now. at the moment, I would play my radical mystic over it because I have it. Yeah. Well, I mean that that in that sense, it makes complete sense. Like they're, I mean the the mystics are not bad. The the Red Claw Mystics are not bad. They're just not a Sylvian character, mm-hmm. which has hexproof and generates any color of mana. Yeah, I which is really nice. Any color. I do think it could come in handy using the morph ability though, because all of a sudden you flip it over and you get three freaking mana. You know, yeah. all you the get colors. That, you do get that. Burst you can of right mana. there drop a big old bomb earlier on than you could have. So another deck we got. We got the first place for the other one, the one from Edison or whatever. Uh, the other Star City. So if you're if you're looking Star City Games on YouTube, whatever, they have all these videos of all the matches. Like it's ten rounds, then the semifinals and whatever. You know what I mean? So really entertaining matches. I think they do a good job with their videos. Now, too. Star City Gaming has like the best coverage of their events, like yeah. in any. Well, even like the official like uh, like the pro championships or whatever for from. Uh, from Wizards of the Coast, or you know, with the Magic. Yeah, it's people. better than the Magic. It's ones. better than that. Absolutely. Isn't I mean, that like, funny that some third party's like, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take over now. Yeah, it's funny the that their video quality is better, and then they're like, I, I like the announcers. The uh, yeah, the announcers they, they, they have really good insight. And coverage. You, you don't like the English guy? Uh, no, I don't. know. <laughs> for, for, probably, probably not a big fan. Yeah, <laughs> you don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's so, just go with no, though. Yeah, you know, right impression there. he showed on you. Oh man, <laughs> I just don't like the English anyway. Yeah. What are you gonna do? <laughs> just kidding. American, American. Teacher, sons of bitches. <laughs> so this list has, it's like a control deck basically. It's like in a shell of a control deck. So it's it has creatures though. It's eleven, four goblin rabble masters, four mantis riders, three seeker of the way. What the fuck is seeker of the way? Oh, this is the lifelink. So it's a two mana two two with prowess. Whenever you cast a non creature spell. This guy gets lifelink till end of turn, so I'm guessing it, that is literally just a way to get the, the whatever delay. life you can. You know what I mean? Just like give yourself an extra turn with uh, gaining a little bit of life. Mantis Rider, I know why that's in there because yeah, I think it's a, ridiculous. Yeah, it's a great cool. card. Yeah, dude, I think it's ridiculous. And then Goblin, I'm still a little. I'm wondering what that's all about. Like making tokens for like for convoke. Maybe I don't know. Like I'm gonna try to build a, a Goblin, Goblin Rabble Master mm-hmm. token deck. Myself personally here coming up. Yeah, you got to. It's you have all the tools you need for that. We put together one on Tapped Out. If you go to Tapped Out, um, we each have our own, and his is just at So and Crow. Mm-hmm. It looks like Sam Hain Crow. Yeah, S A M H A I N Crow. And uh, I've got one on there that I haven't. You know, I don't have all the cards yet. I plan on buying them all and then seeing if I can make it work. You know, tweaking it from here and there. And <coughs> I, I, I personally feel like I want to be more of a mid range player. But this deck is more geared towards aggro at first and trying to get there. And then I have a couple 
like Butcher the Horde to sacrifice my freaking tokens into him and give him life link. See, and, that's a good synergy. I like that. Yeah. I don't know what like the. I think this guy's just playing Got- Rabble Master because it's just a good card. I think so. I don't think too. he has any synergy with. I'm, yeah, I'm curious, but I like synergy. I want to know what synergy is. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm going to play like, uh, Perforos and Iroas to try to protect the tokens as they come out as mm-hmm. well, to try to build as many tokens on the board I can, along with the uh, Hordling Outburst, and come at you with freaking 12 tokens right there, so who cares if I eat one of them with Butcher <laughs> yeah. and all so that kind of jazz. Here could be like one thing, maybe, like Jeskai Charm. The third one is creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and gain lifelink until end of turn. So maybe you attacks in... Okay, well, I'm just gonna block the little one one. You know, you don't care about it, and then you're like, oh, but wait, he's a two two with life link, and so maybe that will like trade with something, get you two life. The other guy attacked in, and maybe that could be something, but otherwise, I don't even see convoke being a reason why. This dude is is basically playing. He's playing like one Chandra and two Sarkins, which is fine. So he's playing as far as stuff that's gonna win him the game. Those are definitely. He's only playing fourteen spells that is gonna win him the game. Other than that, though, he's just playing Banishing Light, Jeskai Charm, Lightning Strike, Magma Jet, Stoke the Flames, and then he's playing. Two steam, steam auguries. What, what, what? I know. Where, where did this card come from? Yeah. Right. Well, if, if anyone's anyone's heard of this, like more power to you. Because what the fuck is this? Reveal the top five cards of your library and separate them into two piles. An opponent chooses one of those piles. Put that pile into your hand and the other in your graveyard. So it's like the J- Jace minus two, yeah. but way worse. It's way worse, but it's what they got. That's all they but, got. But that's terrible. There's, they got no Sphinx's Revelation anymore. So for some reason, I like, got no more Jace. You Sark- can put like you know Sarkin in one pile and then four other cards in there, and they're just gonna be like, "Don't take the Sarkin," and uh, you have the other four, and you're like, "God." Well, damn people it. were talking about this card when it was first uh, spoiled on uh, what was this Theros when Theros came out, and like people were like, oh, we can do so much cool stuff with this, and like, oh, this is going to be the new like draw engine and stuff, but it, just, really? it was just outshadowed by <laughs> all the other good draw like I'm know, guessing draw by engines. Jace. By Jace. Jace, Jace is will, I mean, crazy. Jace around for a control deck was the greatest Jace thing in the world. Jace turns around games like no card you've ever seen. You know what I mean? Yeah. That card, it just, he flips over those three cards, and you're like, oh my god, the game is way different now. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, but this is like, you know, like the, uh, the tribute where the uh, the opponent the person that you don't want choosing gets to choose you know the the best yeah the best I'm guessing you can have like a, a but, I mean there's gonna be a, you can have a poker face with it maybe and maybe you can trick them but otherwise I don't yeah care. I mean there, there's I mean there are probably good situations where you'll get lucky and get you know what you're exactly what you're looking for but you know it's just the way it goes I mean it's it's what they have for what 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 they need so. I, I, I like this deck, this control deck. I just like Mantis Rider. I don't like the gut of the Mal, like Rebel <laughs> Masters, but it's it's pretty much at this point. I think it's the best card that I love that you hate there. on all the good cards out. Like, well, anything that's pricey, you guys, it shouldn't be pricey. This is these are shit cards. Yeah, I mean, they uh, Rebel <laughs> Master. I think is blown out of proportion. I think it's just because Model Red was around uh, for for the. It's uh, still around. It is going to be always. Dude, Model Red never goes anywhere. But I, I think listening- it's just. I think it's like five dollars overpriced. I was listening to like Tom Ross talk about it, and he's like, "Yeah, it's gonna be around for a while." You know, what I mean, he's yeah, like, well, it's like not "Red is already. It's gonna be a thing. It's Red's always a thing. Been around. It's gonna be a thing." He's like, "Even without cons, this is like, there's already a spot for a mono red deck post rotation." He's like, "I don't even need cons to show up. We already have like a tier one mono red deck." I'm like, "Ouch, that's that's not good." Yeah, so I mean, mono red made a little bit of a showing. He got like uh, eighth place. And well, people are running that. Uh, what's the uh, the Ring of Fl- Fire, or Ring of Flames? That tech Circle of Flames, Circle right? of Flames, where it just Ring for of Fire, we're bringing Johnny yeah. Cash to social media yeah. in this mix here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, they're playing Johnny <laughs> Cash right now because of Goblin Rabble Master. Like people are putting like four of these cars in their sideboard just to to fight Goblin the Rabble Master. Oh, that's because yeah, the, the the Circle of Flame. Whatever. So anyone that attacks on the ground uh, gets loses one life. Oh really? Or does one damage? Or one damage too. to every creature that attacks on the so ground. So any one we'll one or any three one. The reason or any to anything. counter that for me, I'm going to put a obelisk of Erd in there. Choose goblin and give them all plus two. Yeah, so yes. plus two. Yeah, we're going to throw like a lot of those things in there. Yeah. I, I really <laughs> wish that we can get four of those things in your goblin deck. We're going to have to tweak it a little bit because there's different, different things I'm looking at and what to go about <clears throat> it and make it happen. But I, I like that Jeskai uh, <clears throat> like burn or Jeskai uh, control or whatever you want to call it. Yep, yep. So, we'll look at second place in this. Mardu mid range. Let's take a look at this guy, Mr. John Goss. I don't know who you are, but I bet you this deck is pretty sweet, and it looks sweet. I mean, really. All right, well. It's just playing. This is like the good stuff deck right here. Yeah, this is this all the is good cards. This is Butcher of the Horde, four of, four goblins, three Stormbreath dragons, two Sarkins, two Sorens. Like, that's that's the good stuff. From Knife. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on here? Yeah, they're okay. I mean, I don't know. 
Um, <laughs> what is, what is, what's that question even mean? I don't even. You don't have to worry about that. Guy. <laughs> so he's just playing good stuff. I mean, and besides that, the only thing that's awesome is uh, Crackling Doom. Which I had, I faced it in limited at the tournament, and I was like, ouch. Yeah, I'm putting that in my deck, too. Yeah. Deals two damage to each opponent. Each opponent sacrifices a creature with the greatest power among creatures. So, for three mana, you destroy the creature you're going to destroy anyways, but better yet, it gets around indestructibility or any of that crap, and it does two damage to the opponent. Like, yeah. that's a little too strong for its own good. You know what I mean? And it's jumping up in price. It was like uh, 80 cents, and now it's three bucks. So Yeah, it was I definitely it was a sleeper. Yeah, it's definitely that a sleeper. That one just knew. So, otherwise, yeah, thoughts. I think goes down those, I need to go buy two the, more real quick. <laughs> yeah, the spies is kind of the spies. I think is pretty sick. I mean, a creature. I think there's a lot of creature decks, and so the spies can take away all that fun stuff. Take away those rabble masters, bro. Yeah. So I don't know. Otherwise, I, I really, I'm really happy that like the meta is totally shaken up. No, well, I mean, for right now, yeah, because everyone's playing new cards, and like, I, I think in the next couple of weeks, it's kind of we're going to see more like clear cut, like what's going to be top top tier uh, tier decks. But I think, yeah, I think definitely uh, Mardu has a place, Jeskai has a place, and uh, probably, I'm, I'm still strong on the red-green, like, mid-range decks. So, like, cause a lot of the stuff didn't even rotate out. It was, like, 90% of the red-green decks stuff didn't Dude, like, rotate green out. and white, maybe not played together, but just green and white in general are, like, way too powerful oh, yeah. for their own good right now. Could they be played together? Because yeah, I was yeah. thinking about building the green-white one. For green-white, well, the older strategies, they had to do a, a third color. They probably. had Selesnia aggro, which Selesnia has the two colors, and then they made it, it's like super, super aggressive and super awesome, but right now you're not going to build two colors, I don't think. I think that it's going to be three colors or mono. Okay. Those are like the way it's going right now. The, the three-color cards are too powerful to, to ignore. Yeah. So, um... What do we got here? By Brad Nelson. Yeah, Mr. Brad Nelson. He has a Sultai Dredge deck. Uh, this guy, I mean, it's playing some weird stuff. So Necropolis Fiend, four five flyer that has delve. Super expensive. Super expensive. Delve. It's nine mana, but you Jeez. can also make it cheaper by what's in your graveyard. That's that's sick, but that's not that's not that awesome. He's playing this two mana two two. See, I actually like this guy. Yeah, you pay two, and then he gets plus two plus two to end of turn, so you can make him big, and he has regenerate. So the, I can see why that's pretty strong. The Rakasha Death Dealer. It's like that. What was uh? What was knife playing? That was that 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 two mana two one with trample, and you can like, discard a card, and then he gets plus one counter on him. Oh god! And then you pay one black, and you regenerate him. Yeah, I know. What that you're thing was about. pretty. That seems like this kind of. You can make him bigger, instant speed, and then you can regenerate him for cheap. Yeah, and he yeah, starts this, off as this two is mana. Just a good solid two two. It's already a two two for two mana, but it has these upsides for you know an additional two mana if you're stuck. Pretty on. damn good. What was that? What was that green black card that foil you passed me? Uh, green you, you, black. Foil. You bring it out and you make a oh of course, token of a, the highest a, toughness dude, you got on the field. Like, this is that's an like a pretty good card. To make. Yeah. So it's a sorcery for two. One way yeah, One black. One green. Um, you know, basically, like bring out a creature token with power and toughness equal to the greatest toughness among creatures you control, whatever. And there's like a lot of toughness going on right now. Yeah, so, limited. I use that rotting like elephant as a two eight. Oh so yeah, a two I brought eight. out that card, man. Eight eight. It's a two mana eight yeah. eight. I was like, holy crap, this cannot is awesome. be ignored. <laughs> that's that's ridiculous. If you if you were to get that uh, two eight pretty early or whatever, you know, it's turn five five mana. And then just any time, that thing was not going to go anywhere. No one's going to kill your 2-8. You know what I mean? So you're not going to be able to. And if you do have a removal spell, you're going to have to do it on their biggest power creature, not their biggest yeah, toughness creature. Yeah, if you get it with a 2-8, you're going to throw some way around it. He's not attacking the shit. He's going to yeah, sit just there sit and be a big there. old yeah. elephant dummy. So you're going to use <laughs> it on, on something else. And then any time in the game, if the game goes long, then you just get to pull that sorcery out, and you get to make an 8-8. Like, I see that as a reliable, reliable thing, so... Pretty, I like it. It's pretty sick. In limited, it was amazing. Yeah, really. Murderous Cut is taken over. That's getting played for sure. Destroy Tucker Creature for five mana. Sounds stupid, right? But it has Delve. Yeah, so Delve it's always for, it's always for one or two mana. Yeah. You can destroy Tucker Creature for one mana. You know, that's it's too powerful. Mm -hmm. For uh for an uncommon. That that is a four of in this deck. And uh I mean he took So is this a discard whatever. type of deck then? And putting a lot of stuff in his own graveyard? Yeah, he's Doing it through like Seder Wayfinder. I think this is like a this is like feels like like a feel around like experimental deck to yeah, me. It's, like he's, it is he's, a little he's bit. testing out Sultai, like he's testing the water with Delve and just seeing how it works in the in the in the standard environment. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like the reanimator a little bit, but instead of using the whip, he is just using the delve mechanic. So instead of like ringing him back out or whatever, he is just using him for the delve. I don't know, wouldn't it be good to throw a whip in there anyways though? Because that whip's pretty damn powerful. Yeah, I don't know. It, it is really powerful, but a lot of people don't play it. You know, the people just go around uh, other ways. I don't know. 
I think, he, I think he misses us. Oh, poor oh, guy. Poor Knife City is Come back to us, Knife. So Ireland's are weird, huh? Am I am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Just get back here. Yeah, man. I'm really kind of excited to see like next weekend, like what what's going on, and like maybe in a couple week more weeks once the meta kind of refines down a little more, once and then people it's start to... breaking stuff. So don't net deck right now. Basically, what we're saying. Well, net yeah. deck in two or three weeks. Play what you, you want, want like what you like right now. What Experiment. You feel, like feel what's like. Yeah, then t- now's the time to like mess around. What people are like really trying to like you know plan weird outlandish things yeah first place doesn't mean it. that it's the best deck yet yeah we will we'll see in a few more weeks probably once things kind of the dust settles and people kind of get tired of the new the new tech and they start going back to like the tried and true stuff so uh we went through a few of these new decks and it's pretty cool seeing the jezkai mardu someone trying soul tie that's fine you know and then abzan of course abzan i feel like is the best all around just yeah, it's very not strong going anywhere you know what i mean it it, it, it feels pretty and this place black already mm-hmm. it's just already in a well position yeah so, that all seems pretty good. Um, have you guys thought about any decks you're going to build or have built? Well, I'm trying to build that Goblin uh, token deck, Mardu style. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing that one once you get that so together. So, we got, when we, our first little go around, we did put something together. Let me see what we got here for that guy. Yeah. Oh no! But I was gonna think about doing a uh, red green monsters deck, of course, because I already have the shell. <laughs> surprise! Like I, surprise! I have, yeah. I have the red green shell already, so I have the four storm breaths. I have the Xenagos, I have Sylvan Caratids. I got Corsers. I got uh, Elvish Mystics. What I got Pelucronoses. <laughs> I got all the good stuff already. So I'm really just kind of thinking. Yeah. Pelucron what, Luke's not going away. What I'm taking out because, like, you know, I lost my removal. Um, I lost uh, a Domri, which was a huge, huge blow. I'm like, I still, I like tears. I, I, I go to sleep <laughs> at night crying because Domri is rotating out. Master Dude, Domri tears. Yeah. Turn two well, Domri like, makes me cry. My, yeah, turn two Domri was like one of the best feelings in the world. <laughs> but uh, no, like we, like we, Red Green lost some some good stuff, some good tech. But I think there is, uh, there, there's going to be some things that are going to gonna shine that I'll probably end up looking into. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, speak on behalf of Crow over here because I got the list in front of me. So for creatures in this, it's a black, black, red, white deck. It's not Mardu per se. We're not really playing a lot of Mardu stuff besides Ankle Shanker and Butcher of the Horde. And Ankle Shanker's not seeing any play. People just don't care about it, but We'll see, because it's tokens. It's tokens, tokens, tokens. Eh? We want st- a That's lot why of I wanted to try. I mean, just I heard Ankle Shanker from the uh, spoilers, and I was like, well, i got to build something around that, because that just sounds fun. Exactly. So we put in we got two Wicked ankle- Sideburns, too, I think. Actually, we can go through the, Indeed. From the ground up. we got <laughs> four Soldier of the Pantheon. Now, I don't know why I didn't see any of this this weekend, because it's protection from multicolored? Yeah, I think Soldier- for a one-drop, wouldn't that be, like, the perfect time to play I'm surprised you it? didn't see more play even, like, last standard. Yeah. Soldier Panther was a really good card. It's really good. And I don't... Then this all this list that I just saw, I'm like, are people not playing one-drops in this list? I think white was just not... If you weren't playing... If you are playing white, you are playing control. And your Soldier Panther wasn't... Yeah, but what about now? Like, that whole now, list we just looked at. There's I think now it's just overlooked. I think once people start seeing what's out there, like, if, if these three color decks start becoming a thing, they'll definitely be. I really think that they have to be Soul a thing. Panther they went up in price, but I figured that, like, people would actually be playing things that went up in price. <laughs> I don't know. So we have that as the one drop. Um, as a, as another one, we have Foundry Street Genizen, which is just any red creature in this battlefield. It gets plus one, plus O, oh, which everything is red in this deck except for Soldier. Um, at least has red in the casting cost. Then so quick as, question that. Yeah. If I play uh, that Hordling uh, Outburst, that's three red tokens. Is Get plus one for regional. Absolutely, that's what I thought. Three red creatures. Yeah, it yeah. has to be any casting cost. You need mm-hmm. that kind of crafty color. color. So you have that, and as a three drop, we have um, uh, Goblin Rabble Master. We have four of those because that's the whole point of the deck, kind of. Uh, we have a Perforos because of its first ability. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, Perforos deals two damage to each opponent. You do that reach. Yeah. Like, every time that Rebel Master goes off, you at least get two damage in. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even the so, board's, like, stalemated. It's like... Yeah. And that pump ability... One of those outbursts, the pump ability is totally damage. relevant. Yeah. That's More irrelevant the for the tokens. <laughs> yeah. So, Especially by the way, you're back. Yeah. <laughs> so, I was oh, never nice gone. Holy... Yeah, no, I know. I stayed in the conversation. Did you guys get my messages? Yeah, yeah that was pretty, <laughs> pretty lame. <laughs> yeah. so dumb. We talked about a little bit just how bad Dude, it was. I feel like we're at a bonfire right now. It's all dark and shit. Yeah, right? Um... So we're playing two Master of the Feast, not really with any synergy, just because it's a fucking good card. We want to be, <laughs> we want this deck to be pretty fast, and it's a five five or three, and that's yeah. good enough. For and a flyer, and a flyer. Yeah. So we have two of those to try them. So what, we a have four turn clock. No, we have three Butcher of the Horde <laughs> because 
Because there's token generation everywhere, you have sack outlets for days. Sacrifice another creature, it gains vigilance, lifelink, or haste until end of turn. So, if you have him out already with Goblin, Rabble Master, you attack in, the, go the, the token spawns, and tap in attacking, and then the only thing you can sack it for is lifelink. You can't sack it for vigilance and haste because it's already happening. But, fucking lifelink for, for free. Yeah. For free lifelink, you know what I mean? So that's pretty amazing, and if you can have more tokens, then you're all good to go. You get even more. <laughs> and then we have one Iroas, got a victory just to try it because there's n just because I don't know why. Why the hell not? You know, prevent all damage to attacking creatures. Well, because uh, you know, there's, uh, if I don't have Albus Gird out there, it's just a bunch of freaking one one tokens. And they're not. Yeah, I'd like to, to protect them a little bit, or even the Goblin Master. You know, that token has to come out, and then all Goblin creatures have to attack. I was trying to use him to try to just make them not die. Mm -hmm. Uh, after that, we have two Obelisk of Erd, which is the one that gives uh, creatures of chosen type 2-2, two, two, plus 2, plus 2. So it's going to be goblins. Yeah. Duh. Unless you only have like one of the flyers out, and you're like, well, fuck it, let's just go and make this a 6-5 flyer or whatever. Yeah. Or a 7-6 seven, seven, uh, flyer for the uh, Butcher of the Horde. But otherwise, it's going to be for goblins. Mm -hmm. And the other card that I haven't seen anyone play... It's a con sorcery for three. Put three one one red goblin creature tokens onto the battlefield. It's like a razor. Three alarm. one ones yeah. for three mana. Fucking amazing. You know what I mean? If you have Perforos out, amazing. If you have Goblin Rabble Master, amazing. You have Butcher the Horde out, amazing. You have Ankle Shanker out, amazing. Whose list is this? This Mine. is his list. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so uh, I just really see that that's like. The, the things that need to be a four of are like this uh, Hordling Outburst and Goblin Rabble Master. I think those are like the two most powerful things in this deck. You know, that's the the main part of it. And then After the, that, the topper killer, if I can get Ankle Shanker, if it goes long, hopefully I have no tokens on the board still. Yeah. Throw Ankle Shanker out there and end it. Yep. So we got some high end stuff we're going to try, which we're ex going to experiment with. Dictative Erebos, because you're going to have one ones dying all the time, and this does not have a stipulation against tokens, mm -hmm. it's just anything, anytime a 1-1 one -one dies, which it will, each opponent sacrifices a creature. So it's it's 5 mana, and you don't really have, you might not have a spot for 5 mana. It's pretty high end, but I really see if it does come out, and the game goes long enough, that it's going to totally mm -hmm. work. Your shit's getting in. I'm playing for a sacrifice. short game, but if it goes long, I'm trying to have a safety. Yeah, game. yeah. So in the morning at work, I was just like, here's... Seven o'clock in the morning, just doing my job, and all of a sudden I started thinking about magic. And then I texted you, and I was like, all of a sudden I had this like revelation in my head. I was like, oh my god, dictate of Erebos in your token deck, like that'd be so sweet. And he's like, yeah, we were talking about that last night. I was like, damn it, I got you, I got your number, I got you, I got your number. The mind reads. <laughs> yeah, so it's expensive, right? It's expensive, but I think if you're going to go the token route and you're going to be sacking them or they're just going to be dying because people are going to be, you know, just blocking, blocking them with their 5-5 yeah, yeah. or whatever, it's they're not going to want to block them. Mm, because they're going to too, so they don't even know it's coming. Yeah, exactly. You swing in with everybody and they're like, oh, of course, I'm just going <laughs> to block your shitty little one ones and then you flash it in. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, it's a fucking three-for-one kill spell. It is. It's a, Yeah. I really feel like this is the finisher of the deck. It, you know what? It's, if it works, if it'll be the finisher. Of what the deck. it is is he's gonna have such good early game, and then there's gonna be a point where they're gonna get fatties out, and he's not gonna be able to get through. Yeah, exactly. And this is gonna kind of get him back on the on the right foot to where he can finish him off. All right, that's, that's I the feel. hope. That's the hope. So, yeah. and then after that, we that's have like dream. we have one Soren just to try it out. Whatever. I mean, plus one is everything gets plus one plus zero oh, and life link till next turn. So that's fine. Well, I got 12 tokens on the board. Yeah, next, exactly. So no, Everything's a little, a little bit stronger, which is yeah. good, and everything has lifelink. Whether they die or not, you don't care. It gets life back to you. Mm -hmm. There's like no life gain in this deck besides Soldier and Butcher. So Soren's a nice little addition. But this is going to have to be played around with. And this thing reads, I think it reads awesome, but you never know what's going to work. Yeah, so you got, we got to It's going to be, it's going to be an expensive little deal because, you know, just getting into this, I don't have a whole lot of the, like different lands I got going in there and different stuff. So it's, it's going to cost a few bucks to put it together, but. I think it could be pretty good, so I'm, I'm going to spend the money and mm -hmm. do it. You're definitely going to, you know, if especially, I don't know if you talked about, you just hopped into Moto. I did. I, well, I haven't talked about it. I, I did. You're going to be able to play test a lot more than just with us and against a lot of different decks. But you don't have to buy it on there? Yeah. Yeah, you got to buy it on there. I don't know if I'm going to spend the money twice. <laughs> yeah, double, double, double. You'll, you'll, be saying, you'll be saying that for the next uh, yeah, six months after that. I know. That. I, yeah. <laughs> oh, I was already planning on not downloading it for quite a while because I'm like, I don't want to do paper and just do that for now and not try to put money in both places. <laughs> and then next thing you know, I'm Delph. sitting there 
I'm still awake because I've been tinkering with the deck. I have to work in the morning. <laughs> and all of a sudden, it's 12.30 at night. I'm like, well, I'm still up tinkering. Fuck it. I'm just going to go look at this. And next thing you know, <laughs> 20 minutes later, I'm downloading oh. it. And oh, shit. That's 1.30 in the morning. You're like, he oh, wait, I have to wake dude. up in two hours, three hours. <laughs> He's like, oh, so I went to Steam and it wasn't there. I was like, uh, <laughs> well, just, no. Well, no, I guess no, I didn't know. I, I know. know. It's funny to me. <laughs> Steam would not put their name behind something no, like this. No, absolutely this, not. This did not pass, it wouldn't even pass the green light. Like, <laughs> yeah. <you know? laughs> but I think after some testing, you know, some, you know, Five maybe two, one three. obelisk or maybe more ankle shankers, you know, you're going to be, the numbers are going to fluctuate and then mm. you find out what works and what doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. Sure. I think like, I feel like that Iroas is going to have to go and like, I'm thinking, I'm all, honestly thinking that ankle shankers have to go too, even though it is strong. I feel like your dictative of Erebos is the ankle shanker you need. It's the way to get rid of everything. You know what I mean? That's why there's only two of so these. So we'll see, right? I'm just trying to think. I, no, I know. It's, we don't know I, yet. I, I could just be totally want Shanker to work, dude. Know, that to, thing is so cool. To tell you the truth, I think Banishing Light's going to have to go. I would throw in some Thought Seizes in there. Just to make the deck more expensive. Yeah, I know, but dude, I don't... No, he already said he's like, I am not buying Thought Seizes. Well, fuck it, no. you can borrow mine. Oh, perfect then. <laughs> yeah. For the dude, like, I'm, like, I just, I'm like, I want them. I really do. They're obviously amazing cards, but they're 20 bucks a pop. From the collective... Cast. We're gonna have all the cards that yeah, we'll are gonna have, be needed. You should, for this you should build two d- two lists: what you actually have played with and you actually own, and the deck that you're gonna play in the tournaments when you borrow everyone's stuff. <laughs> you have two lists. Yeah, because you know, I think this, you have the beta, and then you have the freaking uh, full release. Yeah, <laughs> the full release. Full release. Gotta have that. Full release. <laughs> Everyone loves full the full release. release. Oh. Chuck Norris never pulls out. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, awesome. Man. Yeah, banishing light. I think would be too slow and too reactive. Of of a card, mm-hmm. you want to be proactive in, you know, you don't care what they have on, you're just going to be trying to attack their face. No, that's fair. But I mean, but it's I, so good. It, it is good, but I think that three drop slot you want for the maybe Rabble wants, Masters. Maybe he just wants more, two more Mardu, Mardu charms or something like that. Maybe, yeah, you, maybe you know, that too. Like that. Maybe take out the Despise. No, I, you I know what? Know. I like the Despise in there. What about, okay, Mardu Ascendancy? Does that Zalbos matter? In there? Mardu Ascendancy, does that matter? How many? It's three yeah, mana. Whenever a non-token off. creature you control attacks, put a one-one goblin tapped and attacking. Uh, sacrifice everything gets plus zero plus three. Does that matter? Is we have two of those in there? Does that matter? I'm gonna say, does that matter for me? I'm time? gonna. Does that matter? Maybe, does that matter? Maybe, I don't think it matters. Maybe just like a one of. No, I don't even think that. Just to try it out. I mean, well, well, you play one. Now I'm like reading everything else and seeing all the synergy. I'm like, what is this thing doing here? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like the one that brought it up too, you know. But so did you well, guys the synergy adding more goblin token to it? Is yeah, the synergy to it. But for three mana, you can get three inst- at sorcery speed. Just like mm-hmm. boom, there it is. Boom, there it is. That's a song, right? Part part of the song. I you shouldn't so. sing it ever again, though. I don't have a good voice, but I <laughs> sing all me, especially living with Raheem. <laughs> I, 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 I all the time. Me and Raheem just sing to each other for all of our conversations. Just serenade each other. Yeah. We just we just have to sing all day. We just have to make the worst. Hot, you have no. We have no voices. We, do you guys uh, do a uh, duet of the Tupac uh, changes? I can just totally see you guys doing that. Well, yeah, I should. Now <laughs> I will. Yeah, you're going to go home, home and do it right now. Oh, yeah. I will. Too. I'll bring it I up. I see his racist faces. Misplaced hate makes disgrace to race. Oh, no. happen. <laughs> Jesus. Well, gentlemen, I need to get going before the uh, wife kills me. Yes. Wait, good sir. You actually she's actually calling right now to yell at me. You are 30 minutes past well, death, Thank sir. you, Solo Crow, for uh, showing up to uh, <laughs> Dude, I had a great star. fucking time. I hope oh, you will. Uh, allow me back. Of course. <laughs> Definitely have to have <laughs> you back girl, on. The girl's not going to let you. <laughs> great no, she's getting ready to get pissed <laughs> Yeah, you better, you better start moving. <laughs> like, I'm not actually 30 minutes late, but I am 15 minutes because we pushed it back. But, yeah, she's calling to bitch me out. <laughs> All right. Fuck yeah, she All right, brother. We'll see you later. All right. Guys. Thanks for making an appearance. Enjoy the show, man. I will do First time on the cast. It actually feels pretty good to have. Yeah, uh, I like it. Fresh uh, blood. I yeah, like it. Fresh blood. Intern. Intern did all right. So, did you guys go over the uh, the top eight results? Yeah, we did. Yeah, okay. we did. That's exactly it. what we touched on Ooh, when you were here. So you didn't it. Have to see it. Touch it. Well, we touched it all over. Oh the place. yeah, we got all I gotta say is that mid range Mardu deck is more the style of Mardu. Um, I was looking for right. when not, I was thinking Not the Mardu. aggro style you want not to the, the, the I mean, style. the tokens is interesting, and but I like the just the mid-range. <laughs> uh, I think it just has an effective game for mid-range. I agree. Indeed, indeed. So I can't really I talk about my next deck, really, because all it is is that Abzan mid-range with, like, Siege Rhino yeah. and... All that fun stuff. That's really. I already bought a bunch of stuff. I got my utter ends, and I got the siege guys, and I got the sentences. And uh, I feel like I'm looking alright. I probably will be able to build it like within 
I don't know, within a week or so. Yeah, you got a lot and of the base. I'll, I'll you already probably have the shit. core of it. Yeah, I definitely have the core of it. So I already have uh, the core serve crew fixes. I have the Sylvan Karyatids, you know, for starts. So I, I think I think we'll be doing just fine. I, just fine. For closing, uh, I want to touch on, because I don't know touch how much it, I'm going to touch it. Um, I totally revamped my discard deck. And this this is just a, a beta build, um, but unfortunately, a lot of the great blue cards had to rotate, and so I was like, "What the fuck I am I gonna do with fucking?" Yeah, Demir my... went away. Yeah, Demir. Goodbye. Bye bye. See ya. See ya. So I had to like, what fucking other color am I gonna pick? And I ended up going um, black white. <laughs> What? More like what a pre-alpha deck. Oh, what man. is this? Black and white? So Never mix the two, bro. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> yeah. History has Never told cross us. the streams, man. <laughs> yeah. History has told us this is not a good idea. <laughs> Gotta keep them segregated. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep them segregated. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, obviously, the deck revolves around Waste Knot. So, what I have for enchantments, I have four Waste Knots, three Banishing Lights. This is just a straight-up... <clears throat> Hand destruction control deck. Sounds a fun to play against. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, I'm this is just already. gonna be. A this is gonna be a fucking delight. Fucking dick hair to play against. So I got three banishing lights. <laughs> um, for uh, I got four heroes downfalls. Duh. I got one murderous cut. I think I might put two in there just because. I'm I didn't even take out a downfall for it. I think it's just like it's cheap. You could like surprise somebody. Well, with the it. thing is that I'm gonna be you know thoughtsies, thoughtsies, thoughtsies. Uh, despise, despise. I'm gonna be able to cast it for a black, you know, easy late game, easy. And I, if I, I have so if, many instants and sorceries <laughs> going to the yard. If your opponent sees one black, sw- one swamp open, they're probably not gonna play around murderer's cut. They probably won't even think about it. Not yeah, for and, a while. Until, until game two. Yeah, or until just the meta gets used to it or whatever. Right, you know? right. So I have four heroes downfalls, one murderer's cut, three utter ends. I might take out one utter end, put in another uh, murderer's cut. Uh, I have Despise because that is an amazing card. I want those fucking FNM promos, goddammit. Um, I have three Mind Rots, which I might move down to two. And then I have four Thought Seizes because fucking duh. Yeah, four Thought Seizes, I understand. Um, I have two Master of the Feast because he's still... You want him to have cards, kind of, sort of. Well, yeah, he does. I, <laughs> I remember playing against somebody, it was last week... Um, on Moto, and he's like, man, I fucking love your build because most discard decks don't understand that you need to replenish the opponent's hand so you can fucking discard them. Because I was like, I had Master of the Feast out, and then I had Whispering Madness going, and he's like, dude, I love your build. And so, uh, dude, he loved my D. He saw the, like D. the D. Immediately, saw him and the D made no, eyes. No, and yeah, just, guys and girls, bro. Anyone <laughs> yeah. wants to be you or be with it you. It breaks. <laughs> my D breaks the gender barrier. Yeah. <laughs> so I guys also, are like, you know, I'm not really into the Ds. It's like, just wait till you see nice yeah, D. Come on, dude. You, you'll at least appreciate it. Yeah, I got a Snapchat of it, so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for that. I, uh, I uh, screenshotted the Snapchat. You know, it's, you know, that's like the the rule that I'm breaking the, the unsaid, unspoken rule. But uh, I'm I thought doing they it. I thought they fixed it. it to where you can't do it anymore. What does that even mean? How do you? How does that work? Yeah, I don't know. It? The phone does it. It's totally yeah. different. It's one app to another app. It doesn't, that doesn't well, work. I try and do it, and it like shuts off my screen because you're. Sp- <laughs> Anyways, this is. Yeah, the- I try and do it. <laughs> this. Not, I just said you're not supposed to do it. I was just joking. This is supposed to be a joke, and now you're actually. Yeah. Just, yeah we're you're just making photos. <sighs> I you, wish girl, I whatever. had them because I can't save them. Anyways, you, um, your girl, some, you know, your dog, I don't care, whatever. Yeah, whatever it is. <laughs> let's just, let's just use D's and T's, bro. <laughs> D's and T's. So, speaking of uh, D's, I have Indulgent Tormentor, uh, just a one of. It's the black promo, just because it just kind of adds that extra little oomph of if they're going to sack a creature, or they're going to let me draw another card, or uh, they're going to lose the life. And for finishers, Obviously, I have three Lilianas because, you know, Great Planeswalker, I can dig for what I need, uh, I can make them discard, and it just goes well with Master Feast, where they draw a card, and then I immediately make them discard with Liliana. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And then for finishers, I have one Elspeth, mm-hmm. Sun's Champion, an odd Elspeth. and I have a Empty the Pits, because my deck is made to go to the long game. 
And with all my instants and sorceries in the graveyard, I'm going to have a lot of delve capabilities if I don't use it up with Murderous Cut. That's kind of why I only have one right now in the deck. And then uh, you can go searching for that for your bombs, too. I can go searching for, yeah, I can go search for Elspeth, or I can go search for Empty the Pits. <laughs> Which is fantastic. And it's an instant, so, you know, on on your end step, I flash it in for fucking six two twos, and I just swing in, and hopefully that, you know, that'll... That yeah, I mean, without a board wipe, six two twos are a force. You know, what I mean, you yeah. can't. You can have if spot, if you have spot removal and you have six two twos on the board on your opponent's board, you're like, well, that's it'll take a few turns, but I think I'm dead. Well, the thing is, on your end step, I'm gonna flash in the zombies, and then on my turn, I can spot removal or do whatever I need to do. Oh yeah, so you can spot removal, but that's like I said, they just can't take care of six two twos anyways. Yeah, so. and so I was thinking about putting what's the new uh, board wipe in white. I don't know what it is. You mean destroy all creatures and all equipment attached to them? Yeah, I was thinking about I was thinking about throwing like two of those in there, but still this is a list that I just kind of came up with, but I think white is going to be best paired uh, the best paired color just because of the control that it uh, allows me. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. Yeah, you talk about that. It's still white. probably going to be like a, you know, tier 2 deck if that um, but I just I, I love trying to make just it not fun to play against. Yeah, exactly. It sounds like a pain in the ass, and that's what I love to do. Just I don't <laughs> want just regular old you know crappy blue white control. I want like a variant of that, but it's still a pain in the ass to play against. And I think I found the list. I'm still working on the Mardu, and I'm still fucking around with Soltai. Man, Soltai, Soltai, I feel is like breaking my mental capacity <clears throat> to think. Like I'm just like, do I put the new Jace is in there? Do I put the Farika, the God? Do I... How many fucking Seder Wayfinders? Like, it's really hurting my head. Yeah, right. To, like, figure it out. So I think that's going to take a lot more... Do I play the Spider? Do I play... Oh, I'm definitely you know, playing whatever. the Spider. I think yeah. the Spider's going to be, like, the workhorse of the deck. The Nyx Weaver? The Nyx Weaver. Definitely putting four of those in there. Just because uh, there's not really any way to get... Besides restock, there's not really going to be a way to just get non-creature cards out of my yard. Um, so the Nyx Weaver's good, and I was messing around with restock. So it's going to be a, a Sultai, you know, bug deck. But it's going to be some months, you know, before I get that one going. So how come we didn't see any prognostic Sphinx in any of these decks? Wasn't that Blue supposed to be the a, badass Blue thing? doesn't have a big showing. What about Jeskai? It's it's good, but it's not. It's a it's a double blue so, casting cost. I think it's too expensive. So I did. Put, and hexproof is not. I did put good. two in the bug list because I just made a <clears throat> mock up bug list. Yeah. Uh, Sultai list, and I did put two in there. And I think if any deck is going to run them, it's going to be Sultai, just because of the control at their disposal. You know, they're just going to want to control the game and then have uh, the Sphinx dig for their. Dig for the empty the pits or you know whatever it is, so I think that's where we're gonna see it. It might have a home still, but I think it's just too the double blue cost and then uh, like hexproof is not as good as it used to be. Like last, there's a lot of sacrifice. Yeah, it's just not. I mean, it's not as strong and whatever. Yeah, but it's still. I mean, still it could still be an all star, but I I don't think it's. uh, it's I'm hoping it's all star because I got some cheap ass foils that I bought. Sans Reich's advice, so... <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's going to be played, but you told me to buy them three months ago. Man, they were like a dollar for they, a foil, They look so. good back then. Yeah, I got like I got eight of them Yeah, for like a dollar, not even. You were banking, huh? Yeah, well, that was my, that was my speculation, and then they, I think they like reprinted them in like one of the, the, the event decks. The deck, clash packs. The clash uh, packs. Uh, so that just tanked it anyways, too, so it's not a big deal. But I, yeah, I don't, I don't feel like this meta... I mean, I, I don't. I can't speak for sure yet, but I, I don't feel like it's going to have a home. Well, I do say that I'm. I am a little pissed about your deck because it just seems even worse to play than before for some yeah. reason. Even worse than the blue black version. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that cause... one. That one seemed funner because I was. I think pl- any deck that has thought seeds <laughs> is just not going to be fun to play against. The blue black discard deck was fun because I played cards that people didn't even fucking know were cards. Like on Moto, when I play like Whispering Madness or uh, the one that jacks the creature, and then you have to discard two. Uh, I forget what it's called. Does anyone ever discard two because they they don't even know that the text is there, right? Well, the thing is that they they usually just um, 
you know, what's the F2 or whatever, yeah. skip till end of turn. F6. And F6. So I play it on one of their creatures, and it immediately goes to the end of their turn, where, you know, if they didn't do that, they could have the time to discard the card, get the creature back, and then on their upkeep, it untaps. But since I jack it and then it's their turn, if they want to discard the two, then it comes back to them tapped. So it's like, I'm just tapping it down way longer than it should be, and I'm getting to draw two cards, and they discard, so two waste not triggers, or four waste not triggers. Um, but a lot of times people don't want to uh, discard the cards, so I just get to keep their Pelucranos or fucking whatever I jack. Um, but that deck was just fun because of, you know, I put I put out the Chasm Skulker, I put a Whispering Madness on it, I make it unblockable with Rogue's Passage, mm-hmm. and it's just like, they're like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> like, I don't even know what it, what name is this? Yeah. He's the double check. Is this standard? <laughs> is this standard? <laughs> but yeah, this one is going to be a little bit more, I feel like, uh, mainstream with what Control is going to be want to be doing. Um but uh, hopefully, hopefully it does well. We'll see. Very good, very we'll good. We'll see what happens very on nice. Moto. I approve. So, Ian, back to Reich, you are just going to be building a teamer deck. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't even know what, if I'm going to do teamer. Do other... I don't know if I'm going to play blue yet. You're um, not going to play Magic anymore, huh? Yeah, actually, I quit. <laughs> this is my last day yeah. playing Magic forever. So, uh, Did you see, thanks, guys. See you later. Did you see any of the uh, uh, green-red lists? <laughs> I mean, they didn't really change no, it, right? No, it's, green-red is like, I already knew coming into cons that once rotation hit, like, green-red was already, like... Ninety percent intact. Like I already knew that they was going to lose. Well, they just put a in some Sarkans. Guys. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't like the Sarkan personally. I'd probably rather want like one Nissa and then maybe uh, Chandra uh, Pyromasters. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, Sarkan's good, but I don't want, I don't want him filling up that slot with my Stormbreast. I'd rather be playing four Stormbreasts. What do you think of Nissa? Uh, what can one of okay. Nissa? Let's go. No, hold on. I'm going to cut you off because he doesn't like Nissa, Sarkin, Brymaz. What else do you not like? I like Brian Mass. You don't and like winning. You didn't That's like winning. What you're yeah, I, I the other I ones like... you don't like? You know, there's all these cards that, that you just like. Oh, Rabble Master. Yeah, I don't care for Rabble like, Master. He's like, I don't care about any of these cards. These cards are not good. I'm like, what do you mean they're not good? They're so good. So for Rabble Master, I don't think it belongs in your deck. No, he's not. Definitely. No, no, no. But just in, the, but just in, in general. general, general like in talk. general, I don't. I think he's overhyped and overpriced. I, mean, I don't like the He's price a good card, but he's not like a $10. I definitely hate the price tag. I'm just going to give you shit all yeah. podcast long. But uh, <laughs> no, I mean, like the shell for that red green is already like, it's already there. Like we have like uh, Arbor Colossus if we need them. We have all these other other nice cards. Yeah, but, Arbor Colossus is pretty sweet. I like that card. But uh, I think yeah. that card's going to go up with the mono green. I didn't really have a chance to look at the list, but I feel like if there's going to be any mono colored deck, it's gonna be mono green. You know what though? He's never gonna go up in price. Nope. No, he's never. Never. Oh, never. Just because he got opened a shitload and nobody cares about him. Anymore. Yeah, yeah. everyone just has him sitting there. There's no way. That's yeah, but happen. I mean, I like a one of or what maybe two of them Nissa just to have the extra lands. Like, I mean, you're already playing like red green right now is already like really green biased. Uh, well, now that the uh, storm breath's coming into it, it might they might be pouring, playing more uh, mountains. But I mean, the, before there was a lot of land. like you were playing a lot more forest than you were mountains. So. Nissa was good to actually animate those lands, but I mean, I, I don't see red green changing from the core. I mean, it's still it'll probably be like a tier one for a little while, but then it's gonna get bumped down again, kind of like it did last standard. It's gonna once, get the uh, boop once the uh, the second second set comes out. I'm sure, but yeah, I'm excited for it. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna buy some cards and put it together. Maybe see if I can like you know sell a kidney or two and get some Nissas. <laughs> yeah, right. Maybe a Sarkan to just to try out. I have one Rabble Master and one Nissa online, and it's so it's like not enough. Really, you pulled one? Yeah, I pulled I pulled Rabble Master when they're like fifty cents or whatever online, and I was like, I like this card, and I'll. It wasn't even in my colors. I was like, oh, it got past me. I'll just pick it up. And then uh, I pulled the Nissa when she was like, you know, thirty bucks, and I was like, yeah. I'm what is she online this. right now? Do you know? She's up there. She's, she's thirty eight, I think, or something like that, or, yeah, or thirty four right now. And in she's paper. like, she's like thirty or at least like twenty five on Moto, like. The price differential is pretty, <coughs> pretty. Uh, it's a small gap compared that's, to a lot of cards. That's pretty ridiculous. Yeah, that's pretty ridiculous. And sa- same with Rabble Master. You know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. he's like f- fifteen now on paper. He's like thirteen and on Moto or something like yeah, that. I don't even so know. So much money, dude. But God, I'm, I'm, damn, that's a lot of money. I'm not gonna build my Mardu mid range <laughs> until he comes down because I feel like I need him for the deck, and I'm not gonna buy him. Mm-hmm. If he's ten bucks or over, yep. Like if he goes down to seven or eight, uh, yeah, sure. 
I'll do that. We were looking up Stoke the Flames earlier, and that shit is between three and four dollars. <laughs> oh dude, for an uncommon, that is ridiculous. Yeah. You could just buy a box of M14 and probably just make your money back easily. Just M15, with, yeah. Yeah, yeah, M15. Uh, Stoke the Flames is an uncommon. Fucking, you pull one Nissa. Yeah. It's just, yeah. I don't, I don't understand. It's like, uh, same thing with Banishing Light. I'm like, why is Banishing Light 250? Yeah. Like, it's an uncommon. I get it's really powerful. But it's an uncommon. Like, there's a lot going out there. Does everyone need four? I don't think everyone needs four. Like, people are being selfish and stingy. Just <laughs> put that shit online so it can go down in price. Please, thank you. Guess who has a foil? Oh, do you? Uh, yeah. How much is it, you know? It's I like don't know. 10? It's, yeah, it's probably it's fucking ridiculous. A $10 foil everybody. uncommon. <laughs> yeah. God. Actually, let me check. Is, it's probably ridiculous. That doesn't make any damn sense. <laughs> Seriously. <clears throat> Well, uh, are we are we good to wrap up? Is there any oh yeah anything else we need to talk about? No, I think we're pretty good. I got to go check in for a flight to Reno. Oh what man, what time is it? It's uh, at six tomorrow. I got okay, six o five. Yeah, so I got to check back. When, when are you gonna get back? Uh, Sunday around six thirty. Six thirty seven. I want to go, man. I want to go. Friday, yeah, just going Friday to Sunday. So. You know, magic comes first. Though. It's expensive. Sorry. It's expensive. Eight fifty five a foil. For an uncommon. For an uncommon. That is sexy. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We we'll go bios that shit right now. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, one more time. Look up Stoke the Flames foil. Stoke the Flames foil. It's going to be a uh, I'm gonna say Friday, night, Friday night magic promo. Okay. So I'm, I'm not sure if that's going to affect the price. Uh, no, I, I don't think so. Price. I'll say 11. Drake? Uh, I don't know. I'll say <laughs> 6. I'll probably go... I don't. Even, I, don't th- I think it's probably the ten dollar card. <laughs> twelve dollars. Really? Foil average twelve dollars. Really? Wow. That that's. I, I thought it would break ten. Wow. That doesn't make any damn sense. That doesn't make. That does not make it. Well, that's that doesn't like, make any sense for. Okay. Do I want Elspeth or no? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Elspeth is up there now, yeah. but it was down I to like wish, sixteen. I wish I would have. Because in draft, people were just passing those all day, until. Soak the flames. Yeah. Like when M15 first came out, Shit. you see those all day. Shit. Wow. Well, uh, there's a little uh, finance advice for you. Uh, you know, make more money. That's Cards are going up, dude. Yep. There's a lot of, a lot of fun stuff. All day. I think I'm going to start selling a little more, a couple more things. Do you still have your Brimazes? Yeah, I still have four. Mm. I'm playing them, though. I'm playing three of them. Okay. But still. I was going to say, I might I might need to borrow them for my more No, that's fine. Absolutely. Yeah, I have. Uh, there's gonna be. They're gonna be going in the Abzan deck for sure. So it's gonna be pretty damn exciting. I think those colors are just like there's too much. There's too much good stuff out there for green, white, and black. That oh yeah, the deck's gonna be like hard to build just based on. But uh, do I want that? Oh man, I could totally play that instead. Oh, I don't know. It's gonna be really. It's really really hard to build an Abzan deck. Yeah, my brain's just been hurting with trying to brew. Like there's just mm-hmm. too much going on. And it's the first time in a long time where I'm like, I don't I don't even know like what I want to do. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I don't even know what is going to be good, let alone what like shitty brew I just want to build. Like right. there's just so much It was so easier from. when I was like, "Oh, Simic, duh, done." And you're like, <laughs> yeah. "Oh, dude, I want to do uh the what is it? The uh the blue black." Yeah, just Demir. Demir, you know, Demir. Why that's a, that's all I want to do. Uh, and then you crazy. were into burn. I'm surprised you fell out of burn too. A uh, burn was like fun, but it was just it was no fun. <laughs> it was it was fun just because like you could win, but it was no fun because there's no interaction. It's just right, like you're just throwing burn. Well, how much? How many points of damage do I have in my hand right now? Yeah, you're yeah. pretty much like, well, I can do 18 points of damage or like 16 points of damage. I just need yeah. to draw oh, yeah. like another four. Oh, damage. he gained eight life. Well, I guess I'm over. <laughs> yeah, <it's> like, oh, <laughs> you got what? Oh, okay, I'm done. Thank you. So yeah, a little little sign sign oh, me out. Little sign yeah. me out. Oh. All right, guys. Well, this is... Oh, so for the past two episodes, I've been saying the wrong fucking number. I know, I know. So I put in the show notes, like, despite what I said, this is this number. Exactly. I saw that on the (laughs) MPG cast. I'm like... (laughs) Stupid, stupid knife. So this is episode 16. You believe that? Of if Lance could kill. Fucking push leagues. I know, right? We're coming up on uh, a big two zero. Hey, here when, when are we moving up to a uh, weekly podcast, huh? I are that's that's that? a good question. That's a very good question. That is a very good question. Very good. question. Anyone out there want a weekly podcast? We'll have to see. Let what, us know in yeah. the comments. Let Dude, us know. Do people even if listen? Get, like, I feel like we have listeners, but nobody interacts. How about this? How about this? Us? If we get, uh, let's see here. What's a good number? I don't even. If know. we get five, I, I if we know. get five comments. 
by five different people to one person who five you idiot. <laughs> we get five different people to give us a comment uh, in regards to us doing a weekly show. I think we should do a weekly show. Yeah, I'm um, right. down. If we get power to the people, yeah. If we power get, to the people. If we get five comments, and please somebody just a poop joke, a poop story. <laughs> like, stories are usually better than jokes. The jokes are usually kind of shitty. <laughs> this has been episode 16 of Lance Could Kill. I'm Knife City. I'm Reich. And I'm Hot Sauce. <laughs> I'm so and Crow. <laughs> no, I'm so and Crow. And uh, we'll catch you guys later. I fell asleep at like 3.30. Oh, okay. I get off at 2.30. Okay. <clears throat> I jerked off. No. I was actually thinking about it. I was like, too, <laughs> too tired to jerk off. <laughs> That's the worst. That's, uh, so I just went, I went to bed dreaming about jerking off. That's... Wow. Well, That's it's not too hot. Time. I'm just too tired to put the effort in. Yeah. Myself. Yeah. All the computers on, not even on. Uh, yeah, I gotta wait that. Like, I gotta turn the computer four, on. I gotta wait that 45 seconds to yeah. boot up. Uh, uh, it's not worth it. Yeah. And if I do do it, I won't be into it, you know? <laughs> put yeah. me a wham, bam, I'm done. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Is it really worth it? I feel so dirty. Yeah. Is this over yet? You have, you, have, you have the split screen. You have two windows open, one porn and one, like, something you're actually interested in. You'd be like, yeah. <laughs> no, keep going, keep going, and then you just do something else. <laughs> Jay's tell you, I'm gonna buy him, buy him, buy him a Brazilian wax. I told him, remember, call me, call him, have to do it too. If I do one, he has to do it. <laughs> when I heard that, I'm like, oh, for sure, I'm buying it for you. Then. Ah, <laughs> uh, that would we're gonna, be. We're gonna kickstart that. Yes. We're gonna start a Kickstarter for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buy hot sauce. Yeah, Brazilian. exactly. They're like, is it forty bucks? Like you haven't seen his bush. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand yeah. the severity of this. <laughs> <laughs> you went to an Asian salon, and even they said they wouldn't go back there. <laughs> we need so, at least two thousand dollars to during, do this. During my little like uh, bad heart time, I had. Like this guy had this 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 black man, a uh, nurse or whatever, had to like trim me up, like right here, like <laughs> had to trim like basically like like the right hand side of my dick to like the middle of my thigh. Basically, where's the cock at? All he's doing yeah, is no, 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 it's not better than that. He's he's doing it, and then the fucking thing dies on him. And he's like, <laughs> And he's, like, he's like, and he said, he's like, man, you're fucking hairy, bro. Did he say that? Yeah. Like, no, he didn't say fuck, but you know, he's like, he's like, man, you're hairy. He's like, I don't know. I mean, maybe the batter said, maybe not. I don't know. Hold on. Maybe, maybe not. And he didn't maybe even check. He just got a new, no, wild wild new jungle. He got a new yeah. clip. He just it. threw it in the trash. Yeah. Yeah. There's it's smoke coming out of it. <laughs> smoke coming out of it. That's awesome. Start a forest fire. Oh, yeah, oh man, that's awful. That's that, a- that is real. <laughs> that's that is real yeah. comedy right there.